Good morning, folks. Happy Monday. Well, about as happy of a 7 a.m. Monday can really be, I guess. <laughs> Regardless, we are going to be continuing Dragon Quest VIII. And I hope y'all are excited. I may not sound that excited, but I am. <laughs> but before we begin, I'm still trying to fundraise to help my friend Hachiko get, to get back on his feet help him pay for a deposit on a place with some of his roommates and just general support because he's helped me out a lot and I want to help him out, out in return. So below my stream there should be a um, link or like an image you can click that goes to his GoFundMe. I also have a chat bot that shares that link as well every 30 minutes and I have a command that can get you that whatever you want. So anyway you want to do it, I appreciate the support for Hotchko. So, let's go up. Well, I didn't have the emulator <laughs> up, pre-up, pre-open, rather. I don't, I don't know words. I can't talk. <laughs> Look, it's, it wants to work immediately this time. It's Ooh. kind of a crapshoot. Hello, Moogle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have actually found the very first ones in one of the previous dungeons in the last stream, but I have no real good means of fighting them, so we didn't really stick around too long. I should have had Yengus be axes. Of hammers, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm a big Dragon Quest head myself. Welcome back, Angus. I trust you got a peaceful respite. If you ever feel lost after a long rest, you might want to speak to your fellow party members for advice. Great goddess, may you watch over and protect this poor child. <laughs> so, what we're up to now is we're heading our way to pick him. Kind of just rough housing with stuff on the way. Yangus Mabus. <laughs> I'm guessing it's down down near the coast there. Ah, burbs. I shouldn't have known that was gonna happen. <laughs> mm. These enemies are annoying, kind of annoyingly tanky.
Like they're just like t just tanky enough to be a pain in the ass. I wouldn't mind it. Right? I might even deign to try Dragon Quest 2 again because I it's by far like the worst one I've played easily is 2, so. Oh we got these dudes. I, I we got hoods. I just couldn't stomach it. It was... It was... <laughs> well, these guys hurt. They're also a bit thick. I mean, look at them. Big old... Big old titties. Yeah, these guys are trouble. Triple kill! <laughs> oh, she almost died, so it's good she got a level up, I guess. Ooh, that's a good level up, too. Wow. Crackle. Ooh. I've been I've been jacking most of the most of her stats into her staves. Just cause she seems to get new spells that way too. Alright, well <laughs> let's keep keep on rolling. Oh, sure. Kitty. Kitties are always way past cool. Oh, more hoods. Alright, well. Kaka should be a nice damage upgrade for Jessica. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> That's gonna make grinding around here easier. Now that she has crackle, that's a really good, uh, a really good get. I'm gonna assume this is, uh, maybe this is pick him. I don't know. It looks a little rough. Oh, we got some some j a jumping a jumping dude <laughs> with an axe. Hmm, give me a sec. I'll I'll see. I'll look at. I'll I shall look. I shall observe the kitty. Oh, that's a cute kitty. <sighs> Hell yeah. Um, I, I tend to dislike character like the kind of fuckboy characters. I tend to dislike them, so by default, I think he's my least. 
I, my, my, my favorite so far is probably Angus, just because he's just ridiculous. But everyone's allowed their own preferences with characters, so it's not like... Like, I don't hate Angela, I just, like, dislike that he's a bit of a fuckboy like that. But, anyway. Genghis, go! Headhunter, smack! Gorillas, I love that, by the way. That's, that's great. <clears throat> oh, wow, they do it. Well, they also hit Angelo. The enemies here do a lot of damage. He he is a bit he is a bit of a flirt. <clears throat> Which is okay. It's just a little skeevy. I'm not you generally a fan of like the skeevy characters. That old anime that older anime tend to just adore having like d tons of Is this the town? No, apparently this is not the town. I don't know what this is. fuck is this? <laughs> Guess we gotta go talk to this guy. Or maybe this is something unrelated to where I'm supposed to be going and I'm just... I don't know. <laughs> nice ass, dude. <laughs> I, I'm guessing that's... Wait. Maybe, I don't know what's going on. You come to see me, and I ignore you! What was I thinking? Come, speak, I listen! Allow me to introduce myself! I am Mori! Here, I borrow my ears to the wind! Okay, I guess we're gonna talk to him now. I hear it on the wind. There is someone magnifico come here soon. <clears throat> so, senor, you are a traveler, see? Then I ask you one favor. Here, take this. <laughs> Angus is just like, what? Hello, Digi. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. If the answer is not well, I hope that you do well. Awesome! I need to do dishes too, but like, there's too much to do in life. <laughs> I have played uh, one, three, now I'm playing eight, I've played nine, I've played eleven. I haven't played four, five, six, or seven. And I've tried playing two and got just kind of bored. Oh my! Well, that might. I could have sworn. Oh, I'm I'm an idiot. No wonder. <laughs> I think I changed that recently to uh, my Discord. <laughs> <Surpri> <laughs> jokes on jokes on me for <laughs> changing that without thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that real quick. Um, let me just um. I can't believe I changed that without really thinking. Now it should. <laughs> Christ. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, the... the, the <laughs> Yeah, the, the, um, that should have been taking me to Discord, but I don't really care. Eleven, yeah, Eleven is great. I, I'm quite a big fan of Eleven. When we have finished talking, eh, you take a look at these memos, huh? Each one has written on the information of the notorious monsters. <laughs> Find them! Fight them! Send them to me! It is not to worry, Signor. 
for you. It will be a slice of cake. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. I I have I have lost control of my life. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that. How did that happen? That, that might have been why I changed it because I actually added it to my bio and then something got fucked up. But now, it's. Okay. I see what the problem was. I don't know how it became a problem, but it de now I've got like it twice <laughs> in my bio, so now it'd be extra hard to miss, I guess. I don't fucking know. Appreciate ya. I have a feeling this is just a side quest, but... Oh yeah, pick him. Pick him is definitely down just down the road. Ah, uh, mini demons. No thoughts, head empty. <clears throat> yeah, I like I like Yangus in general. Does, it, does, that, does the Angus mean something specific, or is it just because it's, it's just a good? I mean, it's a great name, but I wasn't sure if it's like a specific name for a specific reason. It means people don't always need an, a reason to be named Tom or Doug or whatever. Oh, the gorillas are attacking! XP around here is generally pretty good. I know we're like right next to the town, but I still want to be more cautious than probably necessary. Yeah, the town should be like right here. And it is a bit of a... Oh, hello. Well, aren't you a handsome little chap? <clears throat> oh, he's very cockney. He, extremely so. <clears throat> well, Yangus, at least you were right about something. No one here so much as bats an eyelid at me. Oh yeah, King Trone is cur the cursed king. The Pubberwits. I'll go on ahead, and I wouldn't want to get in your way. You'll go and find this brains fellow. I'll be waiting for your report. Waiting? Boozing more like. Come on, Gov. Let's forget about him and head over to Brains's. Some of us have got to keep our minds on the job, eh? We've got to find that Dalmagus. Yeah, he's very, very cockney. Or you mean King Trode. <laughs> it's like, it's like, which, which one do you mean? Was, was this, this, this big buff dude doing like interpretive dance? What's up? Uh, no. Alright, whatever. I'll just go around. 
I'll literally just walk around. Oh, unless we have to. Shit ass. Yeah, Yangus is great. Yeah, for, I don't know why Dragon Quest is like so painfully British, but like they're all Brit. They all sound British. Let's see, we've got $2,800. <laughs> dollars, right. The, the, the official the official currency of Dragon Quest Land. Dollars. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> not sure why it's like Victorian, like, upper posh British. Probably need to start going into a uh, axis for Yangus because hammers seem to be few and far between, and axes can do a. Uh... Ah, okay, I see. But yeah, I probably need to start doing axes for Yangus because there's very few and far between clubs, which is the weapon I have him using right now, which is great and all, but axes seem a lot stronger. <clears throat> And they have a move called a Hatchet Man that lets you either cr like 50-50 crit or miss, so that can be good for bosses and just uh, metal slime fighting, you know. <clears throat> Let's see, I might end up buying some armor instead of weapons though, because I can kill the stuff outside just fine, but having a bit more armor would probably help. Oh wow. Angelo can get an actual helmet finally. So I can get like. Hmm. Let's see. What if I'm getting at least a helmet for Angelo? Because that's like a massive, like, 16 point upgrade. Just the most outlandish insults you've ever heard. Oh, you know what they say? If you want it, make it, because that sounds a very niche, but I think that would be pretty funny. That or like a freaking, like, like, a freaking, like, Scots freaking, like, RPG where everyone talks like, they're from, they, they speak Scots, which is, you can't, you can only understand like 50% of what they say. <laughs> <clears throat> See, that's also a pretty big upgrade for Jessica, too, so we'll probably end up getting that. <laughs> it sounds like they're all in a soap opera. <laughs> Sell some old stuff. <clears throat> like this bronze shield, get a little bit of jingle back. So I'm pretty sure she can't equip this bronze shield, so it's not really worth our time trying. So yeah, he's. A lot of glitches in 11 as well. One of your characters would just have a. Well, that's pretty useful. Hopefully, it's a character that can actually use it. <laughs> as opposed to, like, a character that just can't. Oh, we have an extra wizard staff. We'll sell, definitely sell that. That'll, def that'll definitely help finance things. Ah! The boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Sylvander, the best character in the game by, like, a long, like, He's he's like the he's like the best character just because of how he is, but he's also just really fucking good anyway. Uh, let's see, copper monster coin. We'll sell that too. <laughs> I love these little memos. Oh, I, I love all the characters in, in Eleven. 
But like Slavando especially, he's just real top. He's like top tier by a lot. All right. Well, we can sell just I. Uh, we can sell just as a uh, little uh wood or dress here because we're gonna buy her. Yeah, it's just him with the walking stick. Let's see. Yeah, we'll sell that, and because we're, we're gonna buy her a, an upgrade anyway. And with those upgrades we've already bought, like Angel gained like 16 defense points. She gained less, but that should help them take a lot less damage outside. So we'll probably be able to grind a little safer. All right, let's do some organization. I need to put the herbs back inside of uh, Mobus's inventory there. And look, turns out I just never gave Angelo any either, which is poor form. I have these in case I'm in a boss fight that need a little bit more uh, healing power. It is unfortunate that the alchemy in this game, you can only do one item at a time. Like in 9 and 11, if you, like, in, in 11, I don't think you can use alchemy to make healing items anymore. But in 9, you can, like, whip up a bunch of, like, herb stuff all at once and just make it instantly, no waiting yet either. So it's, like, definitely a improvement in later games for the alchemy stuff. So I think we still need to buy, like, a leather cape and, like, another iron helm. I'll come later. So I think we need to find brains. I don't know where the hell brains would be. Nice rug, dude. This is the start of Beggar's Alley, home of the poorest of the poor. You might want to get a good grip on your wallet, eh? Well, this dude's chilling. <laughs> I heard there's a place southwest of here where some great thief lives. One of the best, they say. And get this, she's a woman. But she's a right, selfish, stubborn, seductive temptress. Just my type. <laughs> I probably need to be running around, like, talking to people and all that. Just be like, my husband doesn't do too badly money-wise, you know. He just spends it all at the pub. That's the trouble. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't find it so hard to make ends meet. Oh, that man really gets my goat. Sounds like he also gets drunk. Ooh, nice shirt. Can I have that? No? Okay. <laughs> Just rummaging through people's houses. It's like, oh, I'll take that. That's mine, right? <laughs> the Dragon Quest staple of just breaking and entering and just taking everything you can, fi you can find. Ooh, that's a pretty good find, actually. I don't, I don't know if you can buy those yet. Most Dragon Quests save it to around like mid game or like early late game where you can start buying um, magic water. Lend me some cash, mate. I ain't got a penny, not even enough for a drink tonight. Come on, five gold coins. So I'm asking, please. Oh, thanks, a million. I won't forget you until this little lot this appears down me throat. Anyway, you're welcome, dude. Oh, yeah, more property damage. Wake up! <laughs> wakey, wakey! <laughs> Hope these weren't yours. <laughs> Here's a pub. Ooh, more property damage, my favorite. Like in 11, the, whoever you have out, I don't think they generally throw the fucking barrels, but like, Yang is like, puts on his shoulders, hurls that shit. I love that. Well, well. There's an old face I ain't seen in a while. Yangus, me old mucker. I suppose you'd be going straight through to see Dave, will ya? Nah, I'm just patting through, really. I wash my hands of all the dirty business now. Mm. 
Apparently there's this jester bloke who's been traveling around all the towns recently. Bit of a giant or so I hear. What a nice thing to do, eh? Putting yourself out by going all over the places so you can make people laugh. Yeah, there's still a few decent folk left in the world. Yeah, unfortunately the, the jester that they're talking about is not a very nice person. I find it funny how, though how that is literally uh, Silvando. <laughs> Though in eleven, as he's like he like he's a jester and he wants to make the world smile, and Yang and um, Duomagus is a jester that wants to just kill the world. <laughs> he's just bad. All right, what's up, dude? I know you're trying to sleep, but talk to me. I came here to become a poet and get away from my bo boring life in the country. But just look at me. What am I doing? Damn the clear blue sky. I hate it. Oh, nice sack, dude. Let me, let me look in the other one. Oh, well. Sorry. I'll just be taking those, I guess. <laughs> Bad jester. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a time it's a time honored tradition of just stealing everything. I heard there was a man who knows everything around here. I've come a long way to see him. I can't figure out where on earth he lives. This town's like a maze. A little bit. <sighs> oh, we might have just found him. It's like, hey dude, did you try downstairs? <laughs> This is Brains' gaff, but he looks like he ain't on. Ah, oh, well, we better get back to the pub and ask the old codger what he wants to do. I can't remember how. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> this would be terrible. Stumble down this alley. Someone probably just steals your fucking wallet. Stumble down this alley. <clears throat> Someone probably steals your fucking wallet. Everyone living here in Pickens here, because they ain't been let in nowhere else, right? But this place lets everyone in, even me. It's a blooming good job and all. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Oh, hello, kitty. Meow. <laughs> Even the cat's missing the age. <laughs> Ooh, jar. Oh my god, he turned into a cat. Funniest thing though is there are some um there's a kid, there's a there's a pair of lovers in Dragon Quest 3 that were cursed by uh Baramos, like the demon lord or whatever. Where at night they turn into a, a cat and a dog. For some reason. I can't remember why, but they're cursed, so that actually happens <laughs> in a Dragon Quest game where someone's like turns into a cat at night. Alright, well here's Medea, so little guy should be around here somewhere. Probably in here, getting drunk off his ass. <clears throat> getting pissed out of his butt. There he is. Drunk little guy. <sighs> it never really used to be this difficult to get a drink. Another thing that wretched dull Magus is responsible for. Confound <clears throat> him and confound this curse. But it's Medea who's really suffering. Turned into a horse just when she was betrothed to be married. No, oh, you're back already. That was unduly expedient of you. So, have you found out where Dulmagus is? What was that? I thought I heard the <coughs> Uh oh. Someone's stealing the horse? Someone stole the horse? Or. Hello, bunny girl. What? What was that a horse just now? Yeah, the ho the horse is the is the princess. The little green guy is the king. This is Dragon Quest Eight. 
Journey of the Cursed King. So they're literally on a journey with us. Because uh, Dual Magus um, cursed them and like killed almost everyone else in the castle. Because he's just... I don't know. We don't really know why yet. Maybe he's just evil. I don't know. <clears throat> Medea! Where's Medea? She's gone! She got horse snapped. <clears throat> uh oh. Guess I should have known better. People round here don't care where you come from. They care about what you come with. Are you saying some mini hammer crook from this <clears throat> slum has kidnapped my daughter? Oh, freaking, freaking Jojo, like, malice freaking lines <laughs> basically come from this dude. Oh, keep your hair on, Grandad. Whoever it was, can't have gone far. They'll still be in town somewhere. Well, we must find them, then. <clears throat> Forget everything else. Getting Medea back is all that matters. Well, what are you waiting for? You heard me, didn't you? We must find the culprit immediately and save my precious daughter. One of the main reasons that main character listens to King Short is that that uh, main character was a guard at the castle. So it's like the whole like, oh well, I'm like your retainer kind of deal. All right, well I guess we can just wander around town and try to find the horse thief. Oh, the item shop's over here, okay. Beware of dog, Wimpa. <laughs> Everything just has like Cockney sort of like accent here, even if it's not a person. You have a jar. Hope you don't mind me just taking this. Ah, take it. Take whatever you want, but there's nothing of value in here, I swear. Huh? You're not burglars? Yeah, we totally are burglars. Oh, I'm sorry. So there's been so many break-ins recently, I was sure. Anyway, what do you expect if you go wander around people's houses in the middle of the night? Um, ooh, a bookshelf. Let's see. We got anything good, good in here? It's a book entitled The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Criminals. <laughs> Oh, let's find out. Let's take a read. It explains techniques for committing a variety of petty crimes, including the dine and dash, advanced loitering, cow tipping, and more. Nothing appears to be useful at the moment. Okay, those sacks aren't even full. Wow. What a dump. <laughs> I was expecting at least, I don't know, like some cool... I love- oh, can we go in this well? <laughs> yeah, I guess his belly flops in the fucking well. There's just some dudes down here. Are you sleeping? You dead? <sighs> That's as much as I can take. Do I- do I- do I want to know what, what you're talking about, bud? Maybe- maybe he also belly flopped into the well, yeah. It looks like there's stuff back here, but this is probably locked with, like, the final key or something. Oh, maybe not. Just some thick-ass barbarian dude. Welcome to Pick'em Secret Club. <laughs> well, he's got some of his teeth left, at least. Just big, thick dudes on here. All the harmful stuff inside you comes out through your pores. So what's the mark of a real man? Ugh, it's like your insides are stewing in a pot. Okay. Oh, you got some jars I can break, so. Ooh, mini metal. That's good, we came down here. A file of Amor Seco. That's like 60 HP here, that's pretty good. You don't want to go tell no one about this place here. The Secret Society of Buff Men. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> You sound too cheerful. There's just some buff dudes down here making stew and probably fucking naked wrestling with each other. Even that dirty hole like Pick'em, you gotta watch your hygiene. And that means watching your H's. We're all heartily health conscious here in the secret sauna. See? Look at the steam coming out of that pot. And how about that smell? Get a whiff of the sweet odor of sweat. <laughs> um, good luck with- Oh, they got a- they got a fucking love seat too. They're 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 ready to party. <laughs> well, that was fun. I I don't know what I was expecting. Jump in the sweet <laughs> sweat. 
I don't know what I was expecting by jumping into the well, but that probably wasn't it. Oh, is, is this open? Are they... Are you, is your shop open still? <clears throat> you got some nice juice there. You got some sacks I'm gonna look in, because... This is their shop, but like, totally... Ooh, mini metal. Alright, nice. Let's see what the arm, the web, the item, I can't, the item, uh, uh, okay, well they sell that now. Those are, those are the highest healing, uh, items I've, handy sack. You just gotta reach in there and pick out something nice sometimes. So they sell these, which are pricey, but they heal 60 HP, so that's not that bad. So if we need more of those, we'll, we'll we can buy them. But we can also use two herbs, which cost uh, 16, to make a um, strong medicine, which heals 50. So it's pretty close, and we can do it on the cheap. But now we got a. Uh, surprised this is standing here and I've been stolen. Considering the state of everything else around here. Like, <laughs> this dude's just asleep. <laughs> what do you guys say for yourself, dude? Ah, uh, poof, no pay. No way. Ah, uh, whoo. <laughs> honk shoe, honk shoe. Ooh, a casino, all right. You, you've piked my interest. Oh my god, it's a little heel slime. It's bingo. Heel slime bingo. <clears throat> How much do tokens cost? Because this could be fun, I guess. Welcome to the casino token vending area. Currently, I have zero tokens, I guess. How many I be of service? Each costs 20 gold coins. Uh, let's buy like 10. And we'll just play some slots, I guess. <clears throat> well, I guess we get uh, two shots of this, so. I feel like a boomer now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well, we earned some back. That's nice. It's actually, oh well, I man, that's like the, well, like the highest uh, payout. Um, well, it's not a very big slot machine. What we got here? Okay. Ooh, they got some uh, some good stuff. Like agility, uh, like agility rings. Ooh. Platinum head headgear. That's pretty strong. But well, those are really expensive. So yeah. I mean, you can technically buy tokens. I haven't encountered. <laughs> The dude was there. Take a look at my enormous penis. <laughs> God. Um, I have not encountered a Puff Puff NPC in this game yet. But I do remember encountering that one in 11 on the mountain that was fucking ridiculous. Like, you're getting Puff Puff by the fucking clouds. <laughs> Basically. Are these all the same? That one's a one token. I, I imagine this is there might be a better casino somewhere else. Yeah, I bet these are all the same. I mean, this one was lucky for us before, so. Nid puff puff yank is fun. Poof, poof, poof. Oh, oh wow. Uh, let's not get too too lost in the weeds playing slots, because it's real easy to do that, but... We basically got 50 tokens for 
200 coins, so that's not bad. Because <clears throat> we played one time and got that much, and then I lost again, so. Uh, well, this place is a fucking dump. Oh! 998, 999, 990. Uh, oh, yeah! A grand! <clears throat> Sweet! <laughs> he knows his stuff, that old merchant. He can see how much it was worth. Half inch in that horse was a piece of cake. Easy dosh, Mitch, eh? Easy dosh. <laughs> Hey, who, who's that? <clears throat> oh no, you ain't the owner of that horse. <laughs> oh no. So, it was you. You're the scoundrel responsible for taking the princess. Oh, what the hell? Get that monster away from me. <clears throat> What's it on about? What princess? I only knocked off a horse. <laughs> Who are you calling a monster? Give my Medea back right now or suffer the consequences. Hey, easy, take it easy, I swear. I didn't know. I didn't know it was no monster princess or nothing. Here, have it all. This is all the dough I've got for it, I swear. Just don't hurt me. What? You sold my daughter? <laughs> That's it. Slay this worthless wastrel! How's your horses, Granddad? Uh, Sorry, I mean, take it easy. <laughs> this tow rag ain't good enough for the gov sword. <laughs> Alright, you. Just Let's pick it up. It. Sell it down Beggar's Alley, did Just you? Just pick it up. Dodgy <laughs> Dave, eh? Yeah, 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 that's it. Know him, do you? Right then. And over the dough. If I find out you've been telling me bogies, you're brown bread. Do you hear? Just, just pick it. Just picks up. Oh, look, I've been lying, Mister. I swear. Here, a thousand gold pieces. That's what he give me for it. Oh, all right. We actually just get the money too. No need to worry. The black market geezer he was talking about is a mate of mine. He'll give us back the Orcs Princess if we give him back the dough. I mean money. Then why are we dallying around here? We must go to this you just pick shop you just, immediately. <laughs> it's the proper way to handle short people. You just pick them up with a scruff of their neck and you just kind of move them around like a, a sack of potatoes. <laughs> While we're here, I guess we'll steal this dude's other shit. Oh, a bunny tail. That might actually be a useful um, accessory for someone. Because I think that gives a slight agility boost. A little slighter than I was expecting, but... <clears throat> but I don't think Yangus even has a... Um... I don't think Yangus even has a, uh, a sec accessory yet, so there you go. Now Yangus has a bunny tail. I can imagine that is a humorous, <laughs> a humorous sight. Ooh, vases. Property damage, my favorite. It's kind of hard to see in this place. Move out of the way, old man. Like I know you're like angry, angry grieving, <laughs> but we got we got shit to do. I can't have you in the way. I'm playing this game as blind as possible as well like I'm like avoiding looking up anything unless I really need to just cuz I don't know it seems like it'd be more fun that way uh, where the fuck do I get up again oh I'm in the wrong alley that might explain it So we never make a fuss about nothing. Got got to stay on the barman's good side. See, I mean, he lets us hang out in his pub all night over one drink. You can't complain. It's all right getting some shut eye outside during the day, but it's too cold at night. 
Everyone who lives in Beggar's Alley has to spend the night in the pub to keep warm. Huh, you wanna go around back? Got some business to do, eh? <laughs> Straight down to business, eh, Yangus? I'm sure Dodgy Dave will be happy to see his best customer back again. Go on, go in, yeah? In you go. I probably already broke these, but I'm breaking them again. <laughs> Just to be sure. <clears throat> Ooh, another mini medal in this town. Are you Dave? If it ain't old Yangus. Ain't seen your moose round here for a while. Got some knocked off gear you wanna get rid of, have ya? Nah, mate. Wash me hands of all that. I'm travelling round with the governor here now. But that's not why I'm here. That legless old rump, Mitch, was in here before selling you an awesome cart, wasn't he? It's just that we need them back. They belong to the gov here, see? <clears throat> Mitch only went and half inched them. I gave him the squeeze, and he said he sold them to you. That's why we're here. You had him pinched by Mitch. You? You must be going soft, Yangus, getting stitched up by someone like him. Yeah, he was here selling the Olsen cards. I gave him a good price for them. So I did have them, but I don't know how to tell you this. <clears throat> I sold him already. <laughs> you what? <clears throat> Who to? We need him back, desperate like. Well, I don't know how to tell you this either. I sold him to Red. You what? Red? The old artful dodger herself? You're having a giraffe, aren't you? <laughs> it's not a gaff, it's a giraffe. <laughs> Sorry, Yanga, straight up. Look, it's out They're of my very efficient. <laughs> You'll have to sort it out yourself. I'm guessing Red is the late is the is the lady thief that lives somewhere near, around town afterwards. I don't believe it. Now Red's mixed <clears throat> up in all this. It's the last thing I want to do right now. But we're gonna have to pay her a visit. She lives in a gaff southwest of town. Nice little pad it is. Slap bang wallop in the middle of a lake. Come on, Gav. If we want her help the horse princess, that's where we got her head. To the southwest. <clears throat> See, Angus is a man of culture. He he know, he remembers his roots of, you know, just being like a down and out thief, but he's also just trying his best to help people. And by people, I mean us. <laughs> so, I, li I like characters that are are a little more complicated. <clears throat> uh, well, we we've done a fair bit of stuff now, so let's find the. Let's go. Let's go to. Let's go see some Jesus here. We're we're. I probably need to go the other way. I should have I should have did that when I was on that side of town, but whatever. <clears throat> I I can't really say Jesus in this game because there's like an actual goddess. It's not just random, just like random male deity. It's a goddess. Well, fine, I'll go up up here and talk to you, old man. Well, this is a surprise. Most folk in these parts have a very limited faith. They're not great churchgoers. It's a deplorable situation. Oh dear me. Sorry, I shouldn't be grumbling you now, should I? Oh well, thanks to the thousand gold we shook out of that one thief dude, we could actually buy one of the upgrades I was wanting to get in town. Mm. 
actually going to go to the inn right after this and sleep and then it'll be morning time and the shops will be open and we'll be able to buy stuff. <laughs> just push just push King Trout out of the way with the door. Uh, he's stuck behind the door. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh. Are you taking leave of your senses? Put yourself together and find my media at once. We need to leave town to find this lady. Band. Fine! I guess I'll just grind. Uh, it's almost morning time, actually, so maybe, but. Because I guess time still changes in towns. Oh! As if to prove my point, I literally did right before I was gonna leave town. Oh, now this, now that asshole's there. <laughs> I should've just walked around in circles over there. I didn't realize it was that close. Oh well. Yeah, I wanna buy uh, armor for, um... Like, there's some, there's still like a few pieces of armor I wanna buy. Not that. That's what I want. That and the leather cape. The leather cape's probably more of what I wanna buy because Angelo just has like... I mean, it's... Yeah, we'll, we'll get that for Angelo. It'll make him a little sturdier. This little Templar's uniform is gonna sucks to sell, but the money's gonna be nice. Fine, whatever. It's probably only one time. Yeah, it's, it's one time. That's okay. Whatever. Alright, so. So we've generally got a, a, a nice bit of, arm, of armor upgraded now. So we should be should taking a little less damage out here. Okay, so I can, I can see on the map probably where her house is. It's southwest, so we'll just kind of like go south and probably hug the. Nope. Oh, well, let's fight some critters. Oh, just because I actually got a different outfit on. I wasn't sure if this game was gonna do that with some of the armor, because like some outfits in Eleven have uh, distinct like character model changes, and then and then Nine on DS, your characters always change their look based on what they wear. So I wasn't sure if this game would do that too. Might as well just have him attack because Woosh does nothing against these little birds. Oddly enough, her um, the, that, that dancing out uh, dancing outfit is almost less um, like seductive than her normal. <laughs> That's, that's funny how that works. Um, le level up for Angelo. Well, that's not a bad level up for a priest. Mi Ooh, mid heal. Now he has a tangible use because oh, I I keep getting doing like bows for him, but I just have yet to buy him a bow. Ooh, what'd you drop? An iron nail. Okay. I might actually grind out here. Well, I don't know how much that a bow would cost. Cause it's not like it really matters much, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's. We'll try to head to this place first, and maybe on the way there we can get enough money to buy Angelo. But look at these dudes. They're just hopping around, eager to murder people. Dudes after my own heart. Just eager to murder. <laughs> Well, that one's blocking, or at least trying to block. Ah, he's got block and spiel. At least that's what the, the the tech is called in nine. Or they can block and attack at the same time. I will just beat this dude up. <laughs> just 
Wow. Yeah, the reason I have Jessica with a staff is because with the, the amount of skill points she has in staffs, she gets like 60 or so extra M max MP while wearing one. So it's like, for someone that attacks almost exclusively with magic, that's pretty strong. Alright, are we heading the right... Okay, I think we're heading the right way. Seems like it, anyway. <clears throat> oh, this is a big group. <clears throat> uh, I guess she's gonna use Bang instead because that hits everyone. Well, the armor upgrade that she got from that new armor made it where she takes like 17 instead of like 24 from those. So the armor upgrade, the armor upgrades were well worth spending the money on. And he's also taking a lot less damage now too, so super worth. And these are just like a lot of it. This is like a lot of enemies too, so. Well, damn, dude, look at you go. Bonk. <laughs> that was a big group of enemies, too. A lot of XP. And he even drops a treasure chest. Well, well I'm, not, I'm not really that surprised about getting a wing of back from a creature that has a bat wing. Oh, yeah, we weren't able to actually go to the inn. Eh. We still have plenty of MP, so we'll just use Angus's MP. Surprisingly, Yangus can, has access to heal because of his um, humanity uh, skill tree. Since, since at this point his hammers is like so high because he got a lot of skill points early on that like I can't put too many in, into hammers each level up anymore because there's like I guess like limits to what you can do based on your level, which is something that does not exist in Dragon Quest Nine and probably not in Eleven either. Like if you have skill points, you don't want to dump them all into one thing. The game will let you, but not in this game. Don't really know why, but, you know. <clears throat> Sweet. Level up for Yangus. 11 HP, Jesus Christ. Three skill points. Uh, I really don't want to split more than I already am, but I might have to start putting some into axes. Because, yeah, as they explain, Hatchet Man. Devastating but unpredictable. It's like a 50-50 critical hit or a or miss. And that... And critical hits override defenses, which means they're a perfect thing to try to kill metal slimes with, so... I'm tempted to just start dumping stuff into axes, because clubs are already pretty high. There might be there might be a, a rectification thing you can do at some point for skill points. I don't know if they have that in, uh, in 8. I think they might have had it in 9, they definitely have it in 11, but I... Hmm. Yeah, go on. If I were to play this game over again from the start, I would have Yangus have, like, nothing but axes instead of hammers, because... Like, Penny Pincher's great and all, but I don't think I've gotten gold from it a single time I've used it, so... Nice barn. Oh, hey, it's the horse. Isn't she a beauty? You won't find another coat like that within a hundred miles of Pickham. She must have been bought up, but brought up on some mighty fine grub. Red knows quality when she sees it. She only buys the best. Oh look, it's Medea. Princess Medea is fettered at the ankle. Well, ooh, mini metal. I've yet to, I've yet to find the. I just tamed the Oru and scorched earth. Nice. Um, is Scorch Surf like a like an add-on to some other game, or is that like just the name of the game? 
That sounds like that sounds like it could be like an add-on for like Ark or something. Uh, I yep yep yep. That's what I, that's that was kind of my first inkling thought. <laughs> Is that it's Ark, but I need to speak with Red. You're gonna have to let us through. Yeah, I guess. You think Red's gonna want to see your ugly mustache? Ah, nice. Oh, Pete. Makes sense why there's ruse there. Don't you boss me around, mate. I ain't going nowhere till I see Red. So shift, Skivvy. Skivvy? Who the hell do you think you are? What's all the noise? I can hear your gabbing from in here. Oh, sorry, boss. I got some geezer with no manners out here. He'll be gone in a mo. It's Yangus, isn't it? Just let him in. I'll speak to him myself. You were the boss. Go on. I'm Inside assuming that Yangus was part of Red's gang before he went clean. From being like a, a thief or whatever. While we're at it, though, what you got in those jars? <laughs> More mini metals, apparently. Alright. You got any other goodies in here? You got a goddess statue, it looks like. You got a lot of stuff. Can I have some of it? Well, I guess that counts as some of it. Even if it's not, like... Well, this is a nice little house. Don't often see your face around uh -oh, these bad bitch alert. Yangus. So, what brings you here? It's like this, Red. You bought an horse from the black market drum in Pickham, right? Well, it belongs to this bloke I'm travelling with, see? Someone pinched it off him and then sold it on. That's how it came to be in the shop. I ain't gonna beat around the bush. I need it back. I'll pay whatever you want for it. Name your price. Straight up as usual, eh, Yangus? I like that about you. But I'm not selling that horse. She's a quality mare. Toes the line and she's got a decent coat on her. You know how much I like quality. However much you're willing to pay, I am not parting with it. What? Not for nothing? Look, it ain't for me. It's for me mate. I've got to get her back. I'll do anything you want. Oh, interesting. Never thought I'd hear words like that coming out of your mouth. Must be a good mate, eh? All right, then. Here's what you're gonna do. I'm sure you haven't forgotten the cave just north of here, right? Just bring us the jewel that's hidden in there. You know, the Venus Tear. What? Not that. You know I've been in that cave before, and... <clears throat> you just said you'd do anything I want. <laughs> You're gonna welch on that now, are ya? Just bring us the Venus Tear. Then I'll think about the oars. Well, it looks like we're going into a probably very unsafe place. <clears throat> I would imagine it's the next like dungeon of this like story arc. Now, the question is, can I zoom to here? Let's find out, shall we? I can't zoom to here, but I can get to pick him, which is close enough. We're gonna go back to the inn and see if we can sleep now. If not, we'll go to a somewhere else that maybe doesn't have like the story tag of. No sleep here, loser. <laughs> we can't stop here. This is back country. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like. Oh no, he is. He is following me. Spoke of like, how dare you sleep at a time like this? Okay, never mind. He doesn't care. <laughs> He's like, okay, we found her. She's safe. Whatever. Go to sleep.
much money do we have, by the way? Uh, not much. Not, a, not as much as I would like, so we might first go to, um, go fight a little bit more. Oh, that ass, the fucking assholes. <laughs> Whatever, we'll just go around. It's a little just a different alley. It's fine, we'll be okay. Yep, yeah, because I want to get that, that other upgrade while I'm here anyway, and maybe even a, but maybe, maybe I'll hold off on that upgrade for now. Now? But, oh, what am I doing? Yangus has Whistle. Why am I running around in circles and I can just whistle and have stuff come to me? Well, Bang doesn't do very much damage to those one dudes, but Kabuff is gonna be pretty nice to not, like, get clobbered too hard. Ow! Fucker! I'll kill you first. Okay, yeah, that was that kabuff was a, real, a great idea, actually. So now that's only ten instead of like probably like a lot more. I think that just da is damage regardless of how much I. Uh... Have some crack. Oh, he's like, okay. <laughs> I'll take some crack. I mean, the money here is not super impressive, but the, uh... The money's not impressive, but the XP is actually pretty decent. And Angel is like level 15, and the Angus is like 18, so there's a little bit of catch up we gotta do anyway. I love how they have the little forks and they actually stab you with, or try to stab you with them. Uh, Frizzle, stop! That's rude. That stuff here doesn't give much money. It's weird. Oh, whatever. XP is good, so um, that's fine by me. Probably enough. And if not, there's probably stuff I can sell. So let's let's head in and try to. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on getting that the helmet for now. Cause that, that extra defense on hero might be more useful than the bow on Angelo. I mean, I'll look at I'll look at the bow real quick too, just to see how much it is. I mean, that's not m that much, and there's a little bit of a attack, quite a bit of attack boost, but if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I, I might have either played or watched someone play this game before, like, a long time ago, and I think this might be the part of the game I saw them play, and I think the boss in the next place is, like, a fucking mimic or something, which might be a good thing to be defensive against.
Uh, yeah, well, we're gonna be just just shy. But we should have uh, some stuff we can sell. Like, I think we got like some wings of bat or some shit that we could probably sell off. Uh, I mean, not, no, that's not enough. Uh, no, we got the, we got these boxers that we found. Also, these plain clothes. We're just selling random garbage. <clears throat> All right, now we can buy that helmet. Nice. All right. Well, that's about as upgraded defensively as we can get in this zone. So, just have King Trode Naruto run after us. Like, there he goes. He's Naruto. Look at him. He's Naruto running like the best of them. Oh, I have a spot of bother, have you? How about a drink to drown your sorrows? It's the soap of the soul, you know. Wash down your troubles without a trace. Okay, so I. Maybe this is just the bar. Maybe there's the, the maybe the inn is just like next door or something. Oh, yep, yeah, that it is. Maybe that's why we want to let us in earlier, is because well, we were going to the pub, not the inn. Would you like to spend the night or just for it? It's got 48 coins. Okay, cool. And then we'll save, and then we're gonna head to this dungeon place. Let's do some item sorting first. I need to give, um. Well, Mabus already has those. Do we have any more, uh, special, uh, strong medicines? No. And we can't make any more right now because of, uh. Our horse and, and uh, cart being not with us. So we'll, we'll, we'll borrow one of these from each person to give them the give them the Angelo. Although honestly, Angelo has mid heal, so I don't know why he would even need these because mid heal is way way better. But I just like to be prepared if possible, because some places don't let you cast magic. I can't imagine it's gonna be like that in this next place, but in the event it is. I would like to uh, have plenty of uh, firepower, or healing power, rather. Alright, cool. Well, we're up to 13 mini medals, which is pretty nice. Once we find the metal man, we might be able to get like a reward from him, because of how many we have. Usually, like, the first reward's like 5 or 10. So I might be able to get a few. Yeah, we know, Jesus, blah, 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 blah. Another reason I'm not super concerned about getting the bow yet for, um... What you call it, um, Angelo? Is because, well, during boss fights, he's gonna be mostly doing like, uh, kabuff and like mid heal and stuff anyway, so. He's not exactly gonna be spending the whole fight just shooting at things with his bow, that'd be silly. Like, Jessica will probably be using like sap and like. She'll, she'll probably be using spells, but that's because that's. Her main focus is, sp is attack magic. Let's get a good look here. I can imagine the the place she's, ta she's talking about maybe across that bridge to the north there. So I guess we're gonna head to her place first and go from there.
Ow. That's like over half her HP. I guess let's see how much MP, uh, how much HP mid heal heals. At least 75. Well, that's only gonna be that, that'd be useful for keeping Mobus and Yangus just fighting for longer without having to heal them. Only three MP too, so that's pretty sweet. Um, we're gonna use some herbs from the bag to heal on the way to this place. Just because they're really cheap, and for the for the co the cost of the cost of using them compared to the healing they give is pretty good. It's like it's like eight eight GP for like roughly thirty HP, usually a little more. Oh, these fucking things are annoying. Does she have like fizzle or something? She's got that, which probably reduces the damage that the magic would do. Eh, does he have fizzle? No. Well. Oh god damn it. That should reduce the magic damage. A little late for Yangus, but he took less than I was expecting anyway. All the other little bastards just trying to stab us with forks. <laughs> oh, you're out of MP, aren't you? Fucker. <laughs> yeah, the stuff here just doesn't give much money. Which is weird, like... It seems like a design flaw. It's it's almost like the place the place before this gave stuff gave more money but less XP. So I, I don't know what the deal is. Oh hey, it's tree faces. They were in the last area too. Let's use bang, and we'll do whoosh on these guys. Ah, chomp, chomp. Dead trees. My club's bigger. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Level up. 11 HP, 4 MP. Sweet. Oh, now you have mid heal too. That's really good, actually, because as you can see, I started doing swords. I was like, wait, boomerangs are just way better, aren't they? And yes, yes, they are. Well, I would love to put stuff in courage, but I want to keep increasing boomerangs. Boomerang skills improves. He becomes a boomer knight. <laughs> attack power, but 15 more attack power with boomerangs. Which honestly, that's like way more damage potential. <laughs> Boomer Knight. <laughs> That's way more damage potential than with swords, because sure, swords may have like slightly higher attack power than these boomerangs do, but these attack everyone. And if there's, if there's just like a boss, then it's gonna just hit that boss anyway, so it's like. He's the Boomer Knight. <laughs> At least I thought I was going the right way. Okay, yeah, I am. I just hadn't got hadn't got to her house yet. Oh, 
Oh, I was hoping they were gonna use it on her. And then get, get blasted in the face, but whatever. Turned out bounce is only useful on the person that uses it. Wait, did Yangus not attack? Did something happen? Did I miss something? Surely he did, and I just missed it. Yeah, I don't know. I must have just clocked. I must have just checked out for that the first thing is attack. Hey, the XP here is good, just the money sucks. Like, I really wish it was a little better, but then again... Yang is like, uh, no, I'm gonna set this one out, Gov. <laughs> Let's see... Yeah, I should I should, uh... should have bought a lot more herbs than I have. Because I'm just using these while we're making our way to this dungeon. I wonder if there's different enemies in the sandy area. There probably is. I wish you could paint and scroll with this fucking map, but you can't. I, I feel like that's something they probably did in the uh, 3DS uh, remaster. Is make it where you can paint and scroll the map. Oh. Well, is, is that a... Okay, so those are separate enemies, but they look like they're just like in this from the same click. <laughs> a witch and a hipster, and then a bunch of hoods. Uh, we're gonna kill the hipster, not just because they're named hipster, but because they probably have some like annoying shit. Transforms you bring into a firebird that incinerates your enemies. I will try cross cutter throw. I think that might do, do slight more damage than a physical attack, but uh, I also just don't know. Bang, and I guess Angel will just attack the hipster as well. Oh, you're annoying. You're really annoying, actually. Well, so I'm glad I'm not just doing only spells for my AoE. You, you can't, you can't fizzle up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I figured that might be one of the dancing enemies. That does dancing attacks. Oh, well, <laughs> that, that's scary, but funny. But humorous, even. Well, there's not really much she can necessarily... Well, she can use her wizard staff. Which is better than nothing. Yeah, we want this hipster to die, because... Yeah, I think that, that sultry dance thing can... Um, um, make your characters lose a turn. Which is not fun. Oh, this could be dangerous. Ow. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Dancey dance. No, not like this. Okay, she's still alive. But just bear. But just bear. This is a nasty fight. Holy shit. Well, she's about to... She... I'm gonna have her use a, a medicinal herb. I don't want her to use... I don't want, want her to use a strong medicine. But I also want her to, like... I don't know, be alive. Well, well then. God damn, that was a nasty encounter. Mostly because there was just a, so many enemies. If I did not have the boomerang to just do a bunch of spread damage like that, we might not have really... We might have had someone die. It's a, it's a big bummer that... Part of the reason why I got so close is because Jessica just got silenced. Which, um... Really dropped 
her da our damage potential by a lot. Okay, so we gotta go this way anyway. Yeah, those dancing enemies aren't are no joke, especially later on when a lot of the other enemies are even stronger than they are now. Like it can get really nasty, like when your character just gets, you know. Well, I think I see where the cave might be. Hoods, hoods. Look out! There's uh, that's annoying. They're in like two separate groups, so I can't use a crackle to hit all of them. It's also the advantage of like st stuff like Bang and the Boomerangs, they hit everyone, regardless of how many there are, what little weird clicks they're in. I love how the gloves that these hoods are wearing, um, absolutely. I love how the gloves that these hoods are wearing are like, they, they look like, like, gloves you'd wear to wash dishes with. <laughs> or like lab gloves. <laughs> so like, the, like the, the biggest case in point for me using boomerang with this hero. Welcome! Welcome, three Gs. Hopefully, you're having a great day. We have like you saw there. I did like thirty-five and twenty-nine. If I would have had like a sword and skill points, I probably would have done like forty-five. But that's only like one enemy. But I basically killed both enemies with one attack there. So it's like it's just real, real good. And I'm just trying to conserve or herbs for this dungeon because I don't know what to expect, but. I know for a fact, I think the boss in here is like a big mimic or something. I, I say I know for a fact that it's probably something, but which is like contradictory. Like, like do I really know for a fact then, or... <laughs> I'm, gonna, this is, I, I'm gonna guess it's this place up here. Oh, we got a witch again. It's a lot of sticks. We're gonna go ahead and just use a, the witch's staff on the witch instead of waiting for her to just to fizzle everything. Matter of fact, we're just gonna attack the witch too. Oh, she didn't use fizzle. Well, now I feel like an idiot. Oh well. Good dodge. <laughs> the Gorillas. I love I ha I love but hate that name. Ooh, hood dropped a sugar chest. Stone axe, I mean it's not a very good axe, but it's something we can sell at least. See I'm I'm like fairly certain that um at some point with hammers, Zingus probably learned how to do half inch, which would let us steal from enemies, which can help you make a lot of money in other Dragon Quests. So, like, there's some enemies that have like good item drops, but their their like gold drop is just kind of bad, so you steal from them instead and then kill them. I'm gonna guess this is the dungeon. Oh look, there's a big treasure chest. Surely there's no Yeah, this is the place. There's the chest. The Venus tier is supposed to be locked away in that. Must be a real gem. This ain't the first time I've had a bash at this place. I ain't never managed to get as far as the chest, mind. But I ain't doing the off with that at this time. We're gonna get that Venus tier. 
Alright, well let's kind of scope out where we can go. Well, two paths that look exactly the same, that's fun. I mean, you can just hop down the railing, right? Uh, mummies. They're not mummy boys anymore. And restless armors. I think we fought them before as like singular wandering enemies. Uh, we'll just attack. For now, we're gonna try bang. See how that does. And you're gonna just continue to. Actually, I'm gonna have you do a kabuff, because these things probably hit pretty hard. Fourteen on Yangus, yeah, they hit pretty hard. So we'll we'll soften we'll soften that damage up a bit. Oh, you brought heal slime, you fucker! They tend to do still took that much damage after a kabuff. That's 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 nasty. Oh, Mama's hadn't attacked yet. I was like, wait, I feel like we're missing something here. Uh, we'll just do bang again, and we'll have you do kabuff again. Okay, that's a lot less damage. Well, the heal slime didn't even get a chance to do anything. Which is perfect, because I always want to use heal and make this fight drag on even longer. Oh, everything's dead. Well, and that's the power of the boomerang. All those enemies are just dead. It's not <laughs> 69 gold coins. You'd love to see it. Well, I can imagine part of Yanks' problem is that he didn't have heal. Oh, well, we can use magic in here, so we'll be just using magic whenever possible. Okay, what do we have? We have a, a tomb. What do we have? Can we read it? This labyrinth was created for the purpose of protecting the Venus's tier. Only those with wisdom and strength shall attain true glory. Um, I'm sure. Alright. See, I don't want to avoid any of the encounters in here because they're kind of tough, but the XP is pretty good. And the money in here seems like it's better than it was outside, so. So you're gonna have you use a uh, Monster Master, because these look like to be uh, Material Family. And now we can do uh, Crackle. We're gonna have just. We're gonna have you just do Kabuff again, because. Yeah, these do a lot. Ha, <laughs> Glory! Glory is. There's glory to be had! All right, that is a pretty good amount of damage. I don't know if that's because they're at the 36 is of material or not, but they're dead. I might have over did stuff for them. Okay, yeah, the money's still terrible in here. I don't know what I was saying. The money still sucks. All right, unless I'm missing something, this should be like a way down, I would imagine. Okay. Oh, there's a nice looking sword. Can I just take that? Or a spear? Mummies! Ow. Y'all suck. Alright, well. Well, since we're gonna just use Sizz, it's a little cheaper on the MP than Crackle. It probably does a little bit more damage to these things anyway. I'm gonna blow their wrappings off. No more wrapping for you. Mummy. Up. Oh. Fine, whatever. Well, if Mavis would have been able to attack again, this fight would be over, but. I mean, it probably, it's probably over this turn anyway, but. What? 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 Why'd the screen go black? <laughs> the camera must have, like, went inside a wall or something. That's silly. 
That's game, that's silly. Why why would you do that? Now we might as well keep using herbs while we're outside of battle, cause Eh, they'll be fine. The the, 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 the lead the, the lead two boys will be fine. Not using an, an herb on them. Ooh, we got a door. I'm getting distracted, but that's okay. What we got in here? We got anything? I don't want to move. Unless I can figure... Okay, there's a way down. Perhaps I should check... Up. Oh, yep, see, I didn't want to move. Oh! Oh, that's a cool enemy. I don't... That's a phantom fencer, and... These goodie bags probably give a good amount of money. They tend to. I mean, look at all that bling they have. Sure, that means they've got some money. They also usually have annoying ass magic too, so we're gonna use Bang to hit everyone. We're gonna just go ahead and kabuff out of caution too, because imagine the the enemy that's yeah. I was gonna say I can imagine the enemy that uses that's literally just a sword. It probably does um, good damage. So been being raging. <laughs> Oh, it just laughs. Fine, fuck you, goodie bag. Don't laugh at me. Piece of shit. <laughs> Fencer destroyed. Oh yeah, that's a much, that's a lot more. I mean, it's not as much as I was expecting, but it's a lot more money than most of the encounters around here give. Now I feel like I can just try using an herb on uh, Mobus without really wasting too much. I don't want to have to leave this dungeon and come back, but like we're out, we're out of herbs, and I'll be using uh, Yengus's um, MP very uh, sparingly. See, there's a long that's a long hallway there. Another hallway here. Does this just does this lead to just like a chest or just nothing? Nothing. I can. Good thing I can just kind of peek around the corner so I don't have to like go all the way there. Ooh, double goodie bags. All right. Well. Oh, they can also do dances. A oh, soul can't make up its mind. I think a lot. I think lost souls are only really vulnerable to uh, magic. That's my best guess. So we're gonna try to use some magic on it to take it out. Oh, there he goes. He's dancing. Oh, that just committed suicide. Rude. Well, at least at least it's dead. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully I just find a bunch of those cuz those are good money and they don't like the dancing's annoying, but that's like really all they got. Alright, we got two more herbs and then we'll start using the ones that people have in their inventories. Okay, so that's the way we came from. That's a long ass hallway. Let's see what's around this corner. Another two, three, oh, three doors? Hmm. Wonder if these are traps. Okay, we got some mummies. Keep on keeping on.
Got him. <laughs> Dead. Nice, we gotta level up. At long last. All this just just ma massive amount of XP from these places. Five agility? That's good. Four skill points. I probably should just keep putting them into bows. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. He doesn't have a bow yet, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> on, this, on, on, on the flip side, we got all these jars we can destroy. Some of them might have stuff in them, so I'm gonna break all of them. Ooh, a seed of magic. See? If, if not for property damage, I would not have found that. For just my, in, in my intense desire to destroy. <laughs> Metal. Piece of red mold. Delicious! Alright, I think one of those was a seed of magic. Which, uh, maximum MP. We are absolutely giving that to Yangus, because he, he gains very little MP, and without MP, he's not going to be able to do much of his skills without, you know, leveling up a lot. Hmm. No idea how to use those, and that's kind of bad. Uh, well, let's... We have one herb. <laughs> oh, let's use that Jessica. And there goes the herb. Now we're down to herbs that people have. On their person. I might have to leave this dungeon and come back, especially if we get into some strife. Okay, we don't have the key for that yet, which sucks, because I'm probably not going to remember to come back to this place, I'll be completely honest. It's just a painting on the wall. These are probably, one of these is probably locked and the other one's probably a trap chest. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. You yeah, know, whatever. again not really any point of having angel attack the little dudes because he does very little damage and they're probably just gonna blow up anyway oh no not yet gosh why do they have so much HP yeah that one just killed itself, so whatever. That one also gonna- yep, they're just gonna kill themselves, whatever. Oh, well, Jessica dodged that, I guess. Oh, level up. Sweet. Five, seven, that's pretty good mage level up. Five agility, five wisdom, five skill points. Well, Let's heal up with the Angus' MP first. Let's figure out which one of these chests is in the cannon box. Well, that one's locked, so it's probably this one, so let's just... Yep. <laughs> Thankfully, cannon boxes are not that scary. You know, let's try to penny pincher. Maybe I can give us some money at the very least. Like, we found, I think we found a cannon box earlier in the game, and it wasn't really that bad, so it's probably even less bad now. I'll be surprised if it's dead. Yeah, it's, it's dead before Yangus can even get to it. So. 
Hydrate. Thank you. I got some coffee here. I'm going to finish off and I got some water. <clears throat> so, finish the coffee. And then I got some water. Yummy. You know what? Honestly, that cannon box is worth fighting just because it gave 110 coins. <laughs> I have a thousand gold now, because just the sheer amount of battles we've been doing in this place. Ooh, this, that's, this is going to be a good fight. If anything, just because, just for the fact that it's going to give a, like at least 200 gold, I think. I feel like a buff would be more useful than whoosh, honestly. But, like less damage overall. Yeah, nine instead of like sixteen or so. Rude. That's annoying. Oh, guess you're using Bang again, hun. Oh, and now I guess I probably should whoosh since, yeah, mummies are still alive. To also try to make up for. Oh, there she goes! She's like doing a little, uh, the, the Koopa Trooper dance. Wah, wah. <laughs> Those TikToks are really funny, actually. It's like Koopa Troopa as the as the divorce proceedings, and <laughs> yeah, those TikToks are amazing. <laughs> She's still dancing. God damn, girl. Wah wah. <laughs> yeah, those are those are those are good fun. Sometimes TikTok has actually funny things, and I'd say that's one of them. Yeah, we got a lot of money from that from that fight. For this point in the game, at this point in time, that's a lot, a pretty good amount of money. Like that could get us a lot of herbs if we do have to go back to town, which we probably should. Because if I can, if I find the path to this chest, we might go back to town and then head here and like just try to. Ooh. Makes me wonder if we have to drop down that hole at some point. Oh! Oh, you piece of shit! Well. I mean, there's a chest here, but it might just be trapped anyway. Oh. Oh, I guess that's what this... That this, We have a map of this place now. Oh, my God, walk through all this, sh this poop here. Mmm. Uh, can we just run from these? No, oh, I tried to intimidate them. I don't think they were. I don't think they were intimidated. Yeah, they're not impressed. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, that one ran away. Oh. Oh. She's not very fierce. Can I just do this over and over again? Well, one of those gave us a, 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 a bottle of magic water, which is actually massive. Like, that alone might keep us in here just for the, for the long haul, because... It's like, um, we probably should still leave, but... Nah. I just didn't really want to deal with those little spirit dudes, because... They don't take very much damage from anything, and they just blow up when you try to kill them. So, if I if I get the, if I get down to the wire and I have just those left, I'll try to intimidate them. Phantom Fencer. Yeah, 
Yeah, once Jessica runs out of MP, we're probably gonna just leave. Regardless of where we are, because... Yeah, there's not much we're gonna, she's able to do without MP. That was a good amount of money. Oh yeah, there was at least one um, goodie bag. Of course, there's a lot of money. Mmm, cow pat, delicious. Nutritious. Like I might use that that uh, magic water I got from that one dude on Jessica because that will keep us in here for a little longer while I kind of try to explore the rest of like the not. Um, I'll try to explore the rest of the area to, like, that's not the boss, I guess. Because if I can come back here after finding out where the boss is and just have a full, like, full complement of, like, like, armor, like, HP and stats and items and all that, we're probably doing much better off. <clears throat> Plus all this XP is just really good that we got. Alright, we're gonna try to kill the goodie bag specifically first. We don't have a choice but to use Bang because there's just so many disparate enemy groups. Hmm. I could use Crackle and try to just take out the mummies. That's probably the best course of action at this point. Especially if they're bothering, if they're bullying her like that. Still takes 20 damage even after a, a kabuff. Alright, that didn't do much more than than uh, Bang would have done, so that Bang's probably the best Well, thing's dead anyway, so whatever. I'm mostly just rambling at this point about like what's the best option to fight these things with. Bang probably would have been better, again. Hello, Heal Slime. Heal Elijah in the flesh. <laughs> it didn't get a chance to do anything. That's a thick enemy group there. A lot of XP. Decent amount of money. But now we gotta heal after the, after we gotta heal after like every single battle it feels like. That's okay. Uh, so where? Which one was this? I don't even know where we are right now. <laughs> um, I, I'm getting turned around here so easily. All right, so this way leads up. Probably not where we want to go. So we probably want to go this way. I mean, worst comes to worst, Hero does have evac, so it's not like the end of the world if, like... Ah! The map even tells us where the right door is, so I probably should just look at the map before just barging into this place. 
Oh, they're they're stunned. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave. <laughs> just cause, eh, they don't particularly give a lot of XP or anything worthwhile anyway by themselves. You know the drill, you know the drill, just come bang them all. <clears throat> Ow. God damn. Fight wasn't worth squat. What do we have here? Ah, you have to like pull the statue out of the way. Okay, I don't know how I got turned around there of all places. That's probably the way to go to, I guess, go quote unquote go forward. So let's go to the other branch since I might be coming back here anyway. Oh wow, that's a well. I think the mummy boys are actually the lower tier of the mummies from earlier. So I know it's confusing, mummy and mummy boy. Like which one's which, <laughs> and why are these lower ones here? In the first place, uh, we'll just, I guess, attack mummies. Mummy! Are you my mummy? Like fucking Doctor Who. I've, I haven't seen very much Doctor Who, but that's one of the episodes I have seen. Little gas mask children. Don't curse me! Rude. Uh, not really. I, I did in the past partially because one of my roommates did, but I don't really pay that much attention. Oh yeah, go for it. Thanks for the hydrate, bud. I've got some actual water to drink this time. <laughs> Oh, I saw that. That's cool. A lot of people are like, "Don't you dare call him the Fourteenth Doctor!" It's like, now, you, now I just want to. <laughs> well, that was an interesting fight. We fought some enemies that were like from earlier in the game, and. They weren't really that that scary, but there were a lot of them. Mmm. Have fun at the Red Prison. Better you than me. That place gives me stress. <laughs> Pull. Hopefully, can guys you guys can get that enchanted seed though, or an, an enhanced weapon, whatever it's called. I can't think, so that's why I'm just playing video games. But thanks for the hydrate. It's always good seeing ya. Oh yeah, I was gonna go back this way to check out the other branching path there, so it's gonna be this way. Nope, not that. I I I don't know my directions. I'm 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 a little stupid. <laughs> is it this way? Wait, is this the path I've already been down? Oh, that's a lot of mummies. Mummy a. Well, 
that was a timely debuff. killing these things since they're kind of like a weird enemy maybe they will take these name from crackle eh decent enough I guess I don't want to use up any more MP in this fight, because, yeah. This fight's been going on a while. Should be a good amount of XP, though. Yeah, 404. Oh, nice. Yang's got another level, got another level up. 14 <laughs> HP. Holy shit. Well, he's thick. Yang's axe skills improve. He become he learns basic axe fighting techniques. Helm splitter. Hmm. It might be it might be good overall for us to like just kind of go back to town and get him an axe now, cause like. Helm Splitter is pretty good. Like it, it's a it's an attack. Like while you're attacking, it can lower their defense, which just means you'll do more damage while you're just attacking anyway. Uh, let's use some. Well, I should I should have just mid healed with that anyway. That would have saved me some a little bit of MP, but whatever. Yeah, well, we're we're basically just trying to find treasure at this point. Up oh, there. Jesus Christ. I mean, the map kind of hinted that there might be nothing there, but like... Yeah, we'll try to see if, um... the other path does lead to the where that chest is, because that, that chest is the boss. Oh, boy. Oh, God! I was wondering if these guys had that had that uh like brutal attack as it would be called in older Dragon Quests. It's like where they kind of pull back and swing really hard, and apparently they do. Well, <laughs> this makes things a little more interesting. Accelerado, let's give everyone World War Agility. Which means we should move. Never mind. Yep, I was figuring out my way what happens. Ugh. Yeah, this is a bad fight. That's, that was a very bad start. So, we're probably gonna fight this one and leave, regardless of the. I bit off a little more than I could chew. Oh, that's Hero. I was like, wait, why is, where's, where's Whoosh? And these, and these goddamn heal slimes. These motherfucking heal slimes on this motherfucking plane. Yep, desperate attack. That's, that's what, that's what basically did her in, like. Jesus. Well, that's some XP she just misses out on, which sucks. Alright, well, looks like we're leaving. Not really much we can do about that one. 
Alright, we're just gonna zoom. Oh, we can just zoom back here. Okay, that's actually great. That will save us a lot of trouble. That's gonna make this a lot simpler. Because we can buy more herbs and also just, like, not spend, like, all of our herbs just getting there. Rather unfortunate, and I'm not, I am not surprised whatsoever that she's the first, like, death. <laughs> because she's pretty squishy. I don't, I don't know which one is squishier, her or, uh, Angelo. Technically her. Uh, let's, stat-wise, let's see. Uh, yeah, she's definitely squishier. She used to, she used to not be. But she definitely is now, so we're gonna... Switch that lineup for the future. Let's bring her back to life first. Yeah, we know. Blah, blah, blah. No one's fateful. Whatever. Well, that's going to cut into our money that we got from that place. Like, if we get too much farther along without finding the, the, the first key, I'm probably going to have to look up where you get it, because it seems almost like I've missed it, which would be um, very unfortunate. Uh, is there anything we can sell that's worth the shit selling? Let's find out. Oh, that, that was just a little bit of extra money there. That actually covers what we lost from uh, having to res Jessica. I was just gonna go a little farther in just to try to like, <laughs> like just to, to try freaking getting to the boss without actually fighting it, but nope, the game's like, nope, here you go, go back, leave, <laughs> lalameo. So what I, what I was gonna do is get Yangus an axe, cause Helm Splitter alone is probably worth getting an axe for. 2600, how much are we gonna get from him? Yeah, that, he's had the same weapon for quite a while, which sucks. And I don't even have enough money to get the axe like I wanted. Uh, the only, my only really, real respite would be to go back to the dungeon and grind, grind some more. Which I might just do anyway, because we can get back to that dungeon really fast. So I might just go there and get some more money, then come back, get the axe, and then come back to actually try to fight the boss. I'm gonna, well, wherever the item shop is, I think it was over on his, this side. Yeah, us getting, like, back attacked by those knights and then doing a that brutal hit, or desperate attack whatever you want to call it, on Jessica was just awful. Now, if they would have done that on Mavis or Yingus, we probably would have been able to pull through fine on that battle, but, like, that was particularly bad. Actually, wait, I, well, I'm going to buy these anyway for traveling. But when we're, when we're in the dungeon, we're probably just going to use uh, Mobus' MP. While we just kind of grind up some more money. Because as long as no one dies, we'll be able to get a bunch more money fairly decently. Especially if we can find more of those uh, goodie bags. Because they alone give a lot more money than everything else so now we're gonna heal save and then head back to the uh what does that poster say passion we got one of the the belly dancing girls or whatever oh, i just realized i never actually checked upstairs in this place there might be like some stuff up here to loot
Maybe they'll have stuff we can sell. Nothing there. Okay, let's see. Little dude here. What's up? Just take a look at these iron bars. To stop guests doing a runner without paying, they, they, they are. Can you believe it? It's like being in a prison cell. Oh, there's a little bit of money. I mean, it's, it's not a lot of money, but... Oh, this just lets us out to the top. Is there anything up here? Oh, there's some there's some barrels and a cat. Meow. Is <laughs> it's a Cockney cat? Oh boy, red mold. Well, I guess let's check what's up here. No idea what if this is somewhere we have been or haven't been, but. Oh, hello. It's a fortune-telling lady. Welcome to the mystical fortune-telling parlor of Pick'em. I knew you would come today. It was written in the stars. Let me use a mystical power to help you locate something, dude, don't you? That's it. I knew it right then. Um, let me ask commence the mystic fortune-telling. And by the way, I've got a special offer. I'm just starting it in this game, so it's all free at the moment. Hocus Pocus. Diddly do. Blaz... Bl bl Black as a fiddle deed foo, I like a wham, I, I like a bam, I like a pickle de poo. <laughs> yes, I see it. The thing you're looking for is not in this town. It's in a land far, far away, but if you don't give up, you're sure to find it in the end. Good luck. I'll do what little I can to help you from here. Well, that's awfully just. Dis oh, there's a bookshelf. That's actually probably the main reason to come into that building. Excuse me, Granddad. I don't want to talk to you right now, King Trode. Yes. God. Excuse me, granddad. <laughs> this bookshelf is probably the reason to actually come in here. Fortune telling for dummies. You have to, you have opened the door to an exciting world of fortune telling and di divination. Let's begin with an explanation how to set up your room. First, cover all the windows and light some candles. Drape some purple cloth around. Top it off with a crystal ball. Once you've crafted a sufficiently mystical atmosphere. Invite your first customer inside. Remember, never say anything specific during a session. Simply say yes, yes, thoughtfully as you gaze into your crystal ball. If it doesn't seem to be working on your customer, try chanting some made-up spells. Magic Kazam! <laughs> Don't forget to wave your arms around and talk about mists clearing. Customers love a good performance. But well, remember, the more vague, the better. Let the customer fill in the blanks. You all have a done. As as funny as it is, like that that that's a book in here. That's literally how real life people like that do shit. They just like throw vague like, it's kind of like, I guess the concept is like throw vague hooks out and see what catches. It's always like, oh, you've lost a loved one or something. Like if you see that they're like grieving, you're like, oh, you've lost a loved one. And then they're like, whoa, how'd you know? It's like, you don't, you surely you can see you're fucking depressed, right? <laughs> you know, it's, they're very crafty. Alright, so we're gonna go back to this. Because unfortunately, Angus's wooden hammer sells for absolute dog shit, so we can't really rely on selling that so we can buy the axe and then go back. So we're gonna have to, like, go back. Okay, you yeah, have fuckers in the way. Can I just zoom from here? Probably, it's probably like, oh, you're in a town! Blah, 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 blah. Oh no, this town lets us zoom. Alright, cool. Fuck you, 10GP toll guy. Yeah, we're gonna go in here and try to find some more of those, uh... If I can find some goodie bags, that'll make this a lot quicker. Well, at the very least, I know that the path to the left is the right way. Oh, perfect! We got some right here! Hell, give me just like a few encounters of these and we'll be done. Oh, that's a nasty trick they have. That thing it doesn't matter because they're by themselves. Oh yeah, 212 GP, we'll take that. 
I mean, I could probably just stay up here and, like, whistle, actually. No running around. We'll just fight stuff until we get 20, like, 25, 2600. Probably just get to 2600 anyway. Yeah, Bang's the most useful spell for us. And Kabuff. Especially if these assholes try a desperate attack again and just hit it. I don't think desperate attacks have the same mechanics as like Hatchet Man, because they're basically critical hits for monsters. I don't that they can choose to do. Like they're they can queue up the action to do it. And sometimes it'll hit, and sometimes it'll just not, I think. So I, I don't know how the mechanics work, but... But now that I know that I can just zoom back here, I don't really care about how much MP I use against these enemies. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jessica's gonna be just a little behind on, it, on XP now compared to everyone else. Well, not compared to Angela, she's still probably ahead of him, but it's still not great that she missed out on some. Uh, we'll, we'll do a quick heal up. Oh, hey, there's a goodie bag. That will shorten our uh, stay here considerably. Especially if the goodie bag just dies like that. Perfect. Ooh, nice. Level up. That's also a good reason. 13 HP, geez, okay. That's also a good reason just to grind out a little bit more, more money anyways. EXP. For 118 coins. Okay, it's not gonna be too bad. We're just we're just doing some doing some light grinding. I'll actually head back to the entrance because it's an activate door, so we can just kind of stand here and cast a whistle, and then when we when we want to leave, we just walk out the door. Oh, okay, never mind, there's no chance to it. If it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit. It's not like, oh, we're just gonna... It seems like Desperate Techs probably ignored the uh, skill, skill boosts, too, because, like, oh boy, they got the shit smacked out of him. Oh, looks like someone's doing a mid-heal. Never mind. Well, he's gonna do. We're gonna do mid, a mid heal anyway. But like, yeah, these rest summers kind of suck. I don't really like them. They don't give good money, and the XP is not that great either. But. They're also a lot faster than they look. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Well, it might not actually because the armors might be dead. Oh, they're all dead. Alright, never mind.
I suppose we could just try to grind for um Angel having a better weapon too, but maybe that'll be after I get the, the axe for Yangus. We're still not quite there. I gotta, I gotta keep what gotta keep whistling. Oh, perfect! That's a good, that's a good encounter. That's like the ideal encounter, actually. Oh, perfect! They didn't even get to fight back. Well, Franco, that's enough. Let's let's do another let's do another few encounters though, because maybe we can get another battle like that. That'd be great. Ah, uh, I guess that counts. Yeah, that did pitiful damage. It's probably just gonna blow up or some shit. Oh, we can actually try the intimidate thing. Okay, it didn't drop anything, that's fine. Okay, so those give 106 piece. Well, that guarantees that we'll be able to use the N and buy Angus's axe. So, that's a good effort. And we can just do zoom and get back to pick him. <sighs> Hello, pupper. <laughs> Dog's just following us. Okay, we're not paying the 10 gold. If that guy, like, paid 10 gold once and then, like, let us through the rest of the time, then maybe, but, like, no, it's... Kind of sucks that I'm switching weapon types like partially through the game. I'm pretty sure that buying this axe is a as a, a damage upgrade for Yangus, even without skill points. Absolutely, okay. I thought it was, but I just wanted to double check before I wasted money. Because money is kind of kind of hard to come by in this game so far. And I can just imagine how much dam more damage Angus would be doing with this axe than if I would have if I would have um, than if I would have uh, what you call it words. If I had to, if I was doing axes from the get go instead of using all those skill points and hammers. Yingus probably doing a lot more damage and be a lot more helpful. He's already very good, like he's tanky as shit. And he has, you know, heal, which is nice for just like healing outside of battles. But like We're gonna rest well, doesn't doesn't like it really matters. We can zoom out of this town. So like we can step outside and just zoom immediately back. So it doesn't really matter. I think we are gonna try to get. Maybe we can try getting the money for his bow. I mean, I'm already at this point anyway. In the grind, in the grinding life, and more level ups are just gonna help anyway. So, yeah, we'll we'll try gr getting some uh, more grinding in. Specifically, trying to get the uh, the bags if possible. But we'll fight whatever comes our way. Like this one dude. Oh, let's see, helm splitter. Oh, that takes Z. Oh, we can just do that with. We can do that. While just fighting this guy, and since there's only this one guy, we'll just use the staff, which just lets us use Frizz for free. 
Oh, fuck you. You're not supposed to dodge. Helm Splitter, go! Yep, and oh wow, and it gets a big defense drop. Yeah, that's gotta be real. It doesn't even use MP either, which is amazing. So the Angus can just use that every single time, every fight, regardless. So we're probably gonna be doing that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, especially with these freaking armor dudes. No dancing. Oh, god damn it. Well, that's gonna, that sucks. Eh, not the, not the end of the world. <laughs> not much of a dance either, but, you know, whatever. That's gonna be painful. Well, that dude's dead. Hello, Neki. Welcome, my friend. We're grinding some money in this dungeon so we can buy a bow for Angelo. Fuckboy McGee. It's also pretty decent XP here compared to most of the other places. I mean, the, the XP outside is fine, but like inside here we can fight these uh, goodie bags which give a good amount of money too. So we are 100% fighting them. For, in here, because the money is way better, on average. Like, it's not much better out than outside, but sometimes when the goodie bags are in fights, they give like 106 gold apiece, which is very good. Money! I like money! <laughs> I'm doing all right. <clears throat> We're just playing some more Dragon Quest Eight, which I'm having a great time with. It's a, it's, it's a, it's about as grindy as I expected it to be for a Dragon Quest, because, frankly, Dragon Quest Eleven wasn't really that grindy, because like, I mean, you could re, you could get your skill points however you wanted them to, and get like Thunder Thrust and stuff for getting Metal Slimes down pretty easily. But this one, no, oh, we can't do that, at least right now. So we're, um, just having to grind like normal, like, like, grind like olden times. I say that, but even Dragon Quest 1 had Metal Slimes. <laughs> but we're not really grinding for XP at this very second. We're trying to get money and... Oh, you asshole. Out. It survives because Mob is mixed with the boomerang. At that time. Yeah, most of, most of the stuff here just gives just kind of bad money. Bad money. Whistle is really useful though. We don't have to run around. Oh. These fuckers. Oh, okay, cool. Intimidate. Getting at least some of those to run away. That's nice. Oh, they got mad and then summoned a heal slime. See if we can make the, the ghost thing run away too, because they can sometimes uh, just uh, kill themselves. 
she is so fierce. Well, she made that run away. All right, good enough. And those little guys don't really give good XP and they're hard to kill, so it's not really worth the time actually fighting them, but... Actually, we need to have a uh, Yangus, your, our new thing, Helm Splitter. Ow. Rude. That's not very polite. Just chunked a big head out of Yangus. Yeah, those guys are not fun. They don't give good... They don't just don't give good anything either, so it's kind of a waste fighting them, but... I'm afraid of running from them because if you don't run from them successfully, they can just get a free hit and they can do that big 60 hit damage hit on anyone in the party, including the people that have, like, 80 HP. Our first death in this playthrough so far is literally earlier where one of them back attacked us and we got... She got hit for a 63 out of 84. HP, and she didn't last much longer than that, because we tried healing her, but the, the turn order got messed up, and she died. Which cost like 150 GP that I didn't really want to spin, but you know, not much you can really do about that. Yep, it was a big old ripperoony, and it kind of came out of nowhere. Thankfully, these little goodie bags are being playing nice right now. The buff's not going to really help if they do the desperate attack, but it'll help otherwise. You know what, I don't really care how much MP I use, because I'm literally standing at the entrance of the dungeon. So I'll just use as much as I need to. Because we can leave, zoom back to town, heal, you know, the whole nine yards. Alright, how much do we have now? 691? That's not quite enough, so we're going to have to keep going. Oh boy! We are not fighting these. I will do this and get them to run away. Sometimes when they run away, they leave a, tr a treasure chest. And sometimes they just leave, so whatever, I don't care. Just get out just get out of my face. Oh, wow. Good fight, but... Ooh. Really good fight, considering they didn't even see us, so we can, we can start doing some good damage. Nah, we'll use we'll just use bang. It's real nice getting the back attack on enemies, because then we can just kinda set up and just beat them down. Like this might actually just kill him anyway, because crackle's good. Yep. Nice. Nice. I think the bow is like 1700. It's so like a few more encounters like that and we'll be good to go. Uh, we'll, we'll just heal up. Cause there's only like, it only takes like, it only takes like one bad encounter in this place for it to get turned real ugly. Ooh. Don't really like the fighting this kind of mix kind of mix of enemies but what you what you gonna do let's see what this does I've been not using it because it's like 6 MP but like maybe it's good I guess we'll find out oh wow <laughs> that's a lot of damage good for grinding in that case Cause that saved us the trouble of having to deal with those uh, armors. Is 
sleepy boy. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Yeah, Firebird Throw is really good for grinding. Oh, nice. Level up. Ooh, that's a pretty good level up for Angelo, because priests tend to have pretty bad stat growths in Dragon Quest games. Like, stat-wise, they about the best they get is uh, intellect or wisdom or whatever, and agility, and some, some HP, some MP. Oh, we learned whack, huh? All right, well, let's keep dumping stuff into bows. Angelo's bow skills improve. He becomes an archer. Or just cherub zero. Okay, well we got a thousand we need like seven hundred ish more gold. So let's try to get that. Oh, well, we got mummy boys, which are from earlier in the game. They're not very fierce, but that is just a lot of enemies. <laughs> Oh, that sucks ass, actually. So now Mavis lost their turn. Like, completely. Try that again. And since um, the frickin' uh, bang didn't really do much, we'll just use Accelerator instead. Never mind. I should use Bang. Making all kinds of tactical errors. Well, now we're definitely gonna outrun these mummies, probably. Ooh, nice crit. All right. <laughs> good, good XP, but just a lot of enemies to chew through. Not very good, mu much, not very much money from it either. So. Oh, these assholes again. And I guess we can try fighting them, but like... I can't imagine it's gonna go very well. But I will try. Like, this is gonna do jack shit. Yeah, that's not much damage. That didn't do much either, and that's like one of her best spells, so it's like... That, that, they, they... They're all probably just gonna fucking blow up at this point. Which sucks, because they're just kind of a waste of time fighting these. Oh, they're... It's snowing! Well, that's cool. Finally, we killed one. Hopefully these assholes actually get some good XP or something when you kill them, because they're a pain in the ass to kill. Yeah. 
Yeah, they usually end up just killing themselves like this, so they're just annoying. <clears throat> that being said, I think we do get the XP from them if they do that, so maybe we should just block and have them let them blow up. <laughs> I don't know. Just an unpleasant enemy to fight. Oh, perfect. This is like one of the best encounters we can get in here because they give a lot of money and they're not very dangerous by themselves. Like, at all. Oh no, you're gonna you lowered my defense. Whatever will I do? Well hopefully you're able to enjoy the snow, Necky. I am dreading the snow when it comes when it starts happening here, just cause I drive like forty something minutes to work each day. So if it gets really stormy and like I'm stuck at work, I'll have to like sleep at the hospital or something like that. Which means, like, whenever it starts getting really bad, I'll probably have to start, like, packing, like, a change of clothes and that kind of stuff every day for work just to ensure I can, like, I don't know, be alive or something. Because, <laughs> yeah. At the very least, like, I've already, like, discussed it with my uh, boss and they'll be able to set me up with, like, a room upstairs. Well, when you got when you gotta when you gotta get when you get a job somewhere that's better than any job you can really get in the town, but it's like that far away, you kind of just do the drive. The the pay increase over my last job is worth the drive, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately, because it's better pay, but also just unfortunately, because that's like an hour and a half to two hours every single workday that I just don't have anymore for doing stuff, which sucks. But you know. You do what you gotta do. Oh god, these enemies suck. And we're gonna specifically target these damn uh, restless armors, because they can do easily do the most damage of anything here. It, case in point, they can just decide that they wanna do that and pull 65 damage out of their fucking ass. Which ignores Kabuff, so... Kabuff's only really just kind of like mi try to mitigate some of the damage. Thankfully, Yangus is just a fucking tank and a half, though. Lots of HP. I love your work, dude. Yeah, we're, we're gonna just do, like, crack on these guys, because these souls are probably just gonna blow up anyway, so I'm not gonna even bother. Oh, if them attack, we'll just have everyone else defend. Just because... Whatever. It's not like they do much damage to these souls anyway. Alright, we actually managed to kill them, so that's nice. A lot of XP, but just kind of annoying. Just an annoying battle. Okay, we're gonna use a mid heal. <laughs> Because the Angus just has a ton of HP. Even, like, even after getting hit by one of those attacks, he's just like, Hey, what, do you, what are you going to do? What you, you got something else planned to, to do to me? <laughs> no, it's an attack, and we'll have uh, her just do sap or something, I guess. Oh, 
thankfully that mummy can only attack one person, so it's not like really that scary, even with um and now the, the the goodie bag is just by itself, so who cares? <laughs> The money is why I'm here specifically for just trying to get trying to get paid. Thankfully, whistle doesn't doesn't cost any MP, so I can just sit here and whistle forever. Ugh, god damn it! Oh, it's, it's like Russian roulette with these fucking two these this group of enemies. No point in using uh, kabuff because they're either gonna hit you for a normal attack that's tankable, or they're gonna swing for the fences and just two shots at one, so we're just gonna try to kill them before they kill us. Or they'll just do that and give us more XP. Well, I'm glad he used 6 MP just on a fucking heal climb. <laughs> I didn't expect that to go the way it did. Well, no one took damage at least, that's nice. do love getting like 20 gold from from a fight this far into the game. Feels real good. Wouldn't be surprised if they raised like the gold rates of everything like double in the freaking uh, 3DS remake or remaster rather because still the same game just like some added stuff like like overworld monster encounters and probably dungeon monster encounters instead of like random encounters but like meh. Overall, it's not really that big of a deal either way. Yeah, we're just gonna let these uh, these things blow up. We're not gonna. I mean, I guess we'll try killing them. We'll just have these two defend because there's no really they don't really do good damage to these anyway, so it's not really any point. In the case one does does decide to blow up, they won't take as much damage. See, there it goes. Kaboom. It took like half, or roughly half. Okay, that should be enough. And if not, we'll just fucking sell something. I'm a little annoyed at fighting these enemies. I mean, the goodie bags are great, but the rest is just a fucking chore. <laughs> they are just a pain to deal with. That's okay. Like, I don't really mind this being like the one like story arc we get done this stream. Because we got a lot of good XP and we got good upgrades and stuff and all that all that fun stuff. Alright, so now we can since it's nighttime we can just walk through the, the quick alleyway since it's just asleep. And we can go to the inn and then we can work on getting that bow, because I meant to get a bow for um I meant to get a bow for him much earlier than this, but... It just didn't happen. Like, it kept getting pushed aside because other more important things happened, but... I'm gonna get get that bow for him now, by damn it. <laughs> it 
Especially because if he gets to a higher skill in bows, I think he can get a move that lets him steal MP from enemies. Paying that bow is 1700. Which you're like, oh, we don't have enough, but we can sell his uh, sword. That'll get us just enough. Scraping by, as always. 69 gold coins left. Perfectly calculated. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, we'll drop a save since it's been a minute since we've done that, and then we will uh, we'll zoom back to the, uh, well, I'll probably use the bathroom after I do this save. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we know. Huh, we'll see. Yeah, I think I will use the bathroom really quick after we do this uh, save, and then we're gonna head back to that dungeon and try to actually go through it. We, like we still have roughly have like an hour of playtime I can do today, but I'm gonna stand right here, mute up my mic, and use the restroom. I'll be right back. Alright, I have returned. Thank you for your patience. I had to use the bathroom decently. I had a decent need for it and I didn't want to go back to this dungeon and try to go to the boss without, you know, taking care of that. I might give this bunny tail to someone else. Like, like this increases his wisdom, which is great, but I think him being a little faster would be better for survivability and not only himself but the rest of the party thank you appreciate that like Jessica appreciates this ring but the wisdom might actually be better for her doing more damage a little bit more defense which makes him a little better as a tank like they're still gonna just take a lot of damage anyway 
but that bunny tail might make him just just a hair faster. No pun intended, surprisingly. <laughs> I wish I would have put all that into to axe instead of clubs, because I might actually have like a good, um, a lot but you more useful skills by now, but whatever. Maybe it's at some point we'll be able to move some skill points around to better stuff. I don't know if they started doing that only in 11, or if that was something we started maybe in this game, or maybe 9, I don't know. Don't remember, but don't really remember slash no. Uh, let's see. Let's move the herbs to the front of the bag. There we go. Because we're going to be using these herbs. Uh, no, no, no more grinding. <laughs> not, not right now. We're going to actually be um, trying to get through the dungeon to the boss. So we'll be using herbs and trying to minimize the amount of MP we use to get there. If possible. Because I would like to at least get one like kind of story arc done per stream, and this is the pick the pick ham arc I would assume. So this going here, getting the Venus's tier, fighting whatever probably I think I'm almost I'm 99% sure the boss, and here is the chest that we see here. Partially because I think like once upon a time, long 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 ago, like years and years ago, I either heard heard someone playing this game and watched them or I saw this in like in a, a magazine or something where like they fought this boss and I'm 99% sure that chest is the boss because <laughs> you know mimics and all that oh hey it's a goodie bag well I guess we can see how Angelo's new bow does that's actually pretty good damage like, it's not quite as good damage as, like, uh, Mobis or Yangus does, but it's still pretty decent damage for a priest. Plus, he has all those, uh, arrows that you can use. So, we're gonna head down. I'm pretty sure of the path through this place at this point. Uh, I believe it's down and around to the far staircase there, yeah. Oh boy, Restless Armor, my favorite. Sever you bang. She did it, bang! Well, it's only fair. He, he, gave, he did 22, and he gave 22. Inadvertently, we'll be doing more grinding because enemies will just be in the way. Oh, alright. Well, I guess Jessica gets a level up before the boss. A little bit more HP. Nice. Four skill points. More stabs. Stays still is improved. She becomes a staff magician. Catechist. I think that's a healing uh, ability she can have. Yeah, I think that's an. Like, I don't think we can use abilities outside of battle. Doesn't seem like it. But I think a catechist is a, uh, a staff, like a mid heal kind of deal that she can just do now. Which is useful because she's, like, easily the fastest character. Like, I think it's, like, not even close speed-wise. Let's see. 33, 48, 58, 60. Yeah, I mean, it's a little close, but, like, Jessica almost always moves first amongst our party members. Okay. Oh, mummies. Uh-oh. Mummy! All right, let's look at Catechus. A blessing from the heavens that restores a single party member's... HP. Oh, it doesn't even cost any MP either. That's actually really good. You know, let's 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 use it on Angela since he's missing some health, so we can see. I'm sure it heals more than that, but hey, 
If there's nothing she can really do in a battle, I could just have her be healer. Which makes her even more useful than she already was. Like, especially in this case, like, there's nothing else she could really be doing in the battle, so I could just have her heal Mobus or something. Yep, that's amazing, actually. That's gonna be even better for grinding. I mean, granted, the mummy just did more damage anyway. But yeah, and like, me double slash tripling down on stabs for her is so far proved to be quite useful. Yeah, that door is a trap. If you try to open it, it'll put, there's like a spring back there that'll push you in this hole. I learned that the hard way. But now, if you also look on the map, there's just nothing, no room there anyway, so you, look at your map, folks. <laughs> Stare lovingly at your map because it'll probably help you from being doing stupid shit. All right, we're gonna try to intimidate. Get at least the the spirits to run away because the mummies probably aren't gonna leave. Yeah, that thing just try to attack. That one ran away. All right, and we'll just we can try the other one. We can try to intimidate. Just about. Rawr! She's she's so fierce. She's a mean girl. Yeah, they're not gonna run away. Okay, cool. So we can use that to get rid of enemies that we might not want to deal with, like those little spirits, because they don't really give good XP or money, and they kind of explode, and they don't take much damage either, so they're kind of just annoying more than anything. All right, we'll, we'll use some Crackle. Like, if these things survive another turn, we'll probably have her use another heal on someone. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's almost certainly going to be another turn. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I'll probably just use it on Angelo. Never mind. <laughs> this game will last day forever. I mean, this is the... The fourth stream of it, so I haven't been playing it for ages. Like, I can imagine we still got plenty of game left. Alright. Okay, let's look at our map. That way leads nowhere. Like, literally nowhere, so. Let's head down this hall. We'll move this statue out of the way, and then we will. See what's further this way, because I think this is kind of where I stopped. In part because one of these Restless Armors, like, did a uh, desperate attack on Jessica, and then the other one killed her, so we had to kind of leave anyway. You know, just, just, just hot girl shit. Like, go on, girl, give us nothing. Well, damn, look at you out speeding the mage. Oh. That's one of those dead, at least. That's nice. Well, that's the other one of those dead, at least. That's nice. Uh, well, Mobus is the only one that's really been dinged up any, so... Free heal. That's gonna increase her survivability by a significant amount, cause normally she'd just kinda be sitting around not really able to do much on a turn like that where there's like one enemy left that's mostly dead. But now she can just heal people. Even if it's not by much, it costs zero MP, so there's literally no downside to doing it. Alright, where are we going? Okay. Further this way. Down this long ass hall. Oh boy, mummy boys. Oh yeah, mummy boys. The mummy boys doing the joy. One of life's simple joys, hanging with the mummy boys. Uh, let's just do, like, a guess bang. Like, I don't mind using some MP before this, before the boss, but like... 
I just don't want to use all of it. Angus is missing a little bit. Might as well. This bang doesn't really do that much anyway. And these things are very weak because they're from <coughs> excuse me, they're from previous like a previous area. So why they're even here, I don't really know. But we'll just bully them. Bully the mummy boys. I think the I think the the enemy name after mummy like first one's mummy boy then it's mummy I think the next one's mummy man <laughs> or some shit. Oh boy, I don't think I've even been to this part of the dungeon, so this is gonna be a fun experience. What we have this way? Is there anything this way? There might be like a chest. Oh boy, more mummies. Oh boy, more mummies. Yeah, they're 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 here to be mummy men, the mummy men of Mummy Man Lane. Uh, it's probably gonna be more useful to do accelerate right now, so that we're all just faster than the mummies. Probably not this turn, because I think turn order is probably dictated at the start of the. Engagement as opposed to uh, changes mid fight, which I think in 11 it's different. Like, if, it, if the stat increases and you're suddenly gonna be faster, I think it counts that. But it doesn't seem like it works that way in this game. Ugh, annoying. A that, that curse seems like it's just basically a uh, you miss your turn kind of deal. Not the end of the world, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we'll just do bang, I guess. Because, I mean, Jessica's got a lot of MP, so it's fine to use some of it. Pew! Mummy boy destroyed. I mean, the, the, the XP that group gives is pretty good for relatively little um, danger. Okay, yeah, there's just two vases. Probably a mini metal or something in one of these. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of what they do in some of these cases. Like, if there's like a, a long, shitty, windy place. Oh, just can of boxes out in the wild. That's interesting. Can't say I expected to find a group like this. You usually don't find just random can of boxes roaming around. They're usually like ambush attacks. But you know what? Cool. They're not very hard. And they give good money, I think, too. I love their design, though. They're just boxes with teeth. It's very cute. Oh, that's annoying. That's also annoying. Okay, Angelo. Slip. Maybe these ones are stronger. No, uh, they're probably not that much stronger. I think I just got lucky and didn't see a single one of them use the desperate attack whenever I've been uh, fighting them here and there. Yeah, those are good sleep, sweet prince. Leave me alone, Citrix Workplace. Remind me later. I don't need to fucking update right now. I'm streaming. Okay, and then we'll use herbs for everyone else because. Everyone else took relatively light damage, and Yangus took like a pretty big hit there. But hey, those cannon boxes are actually the best of both worlds. They give a lot of XP and a lot of money. So if I can find more of them while I'm down here, I'll, I'll I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, is there anything else down here I should worry about? 
Well, I can see a little divot here and a statue, so I, I wonder what I need to do. Yeah, Angus, back that dump truck up. Oh, well, didn't mean to push it off, but let's put it back just in case. Oh god, these enemies are awful. Okay, uh, well, I guess might as well just have him use a buff. There's not really anything else useful he can really do. And you just do, uh. Honestly, I want these Rust Stormers to just be dead. Because they are the, they're way more dangerous than the mummies are. Because they can do the uh, desperate attacks. Which, the Desperate Tax, I've probably said it a few times, but those Desperate Tax ignore defense boosts. So, they're just dangerous. They're just really dangerous to deal with. My question is, how in the hell has Hero not moved yet? Whatever. That alone is why we switched to axes. Helm Splitter, Yingus can attack using zero MP and also lower defense. It's gonna be really good for bosses. Like, really good for bosses. We'll just defend with these two, it doesn't really matter. Some of them are gonna be dead anyway, and others are just gonna do damage for no good reason. We'll do this because we can heal Yangus up, possibly. But we're just kill the other enemy anyway. That's a good use of time. Yep, perfect. Exactly how I was hoping it would go. Oh, Jesus. This is a long ass freaking path. No wonder Yangus never made it to this chest on his own. This is just. This is a gnarly dungeon, plus there's just random cannon boxes roaming around. That's not safe. Ne never let your, never leave your box unattended. <laughs> it's like the freaking Yu-Gi-Oh bird saying is like never leave your beaver unprotected. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Uh we're probably not, once we get to the boss, probably won't need that much MP with Mobis. So I don't really mind using a firebird, through, especially to get rid of these annoying freaking uh <clears throat> these annoying ass um restless armors because they they're just dangerous they're just very dangerous yep all right well heal slime and all the armors are dead that little dude's dead And we'll do we'll do the old catechist heal trick thing for I guess Angelo, I don't know. She should almost always move faster than Hero, so we'll be able to get the heal off. He's gonna defend and then hero attacks and nep, yep, it's dead. Ooh, level 20? I don't know why he levels up so fast, but could be 13 HP, Jesus dude. Three skill points? More axe! That's bad axe. Ooh, another level up. Nice, you're level 20 now too. 13 HP, alright. Sizzle. Nice, that's like a tier, that's like the tier 2 group fire spell. That's bad axe. <laughs> I, 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 I do not, I will never, I will not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. 
The worst thing is there is a, I think there is a weapon in the Dragon Quest games, now that like all the names are like localized and weird. That, that is called the Bad Axe. <laughs> I'm almost certain there is at least. No, what is this shit? Um... Do I push this one on the... Can this be pulled? No, it can't. So these gotta be pushed somewhere. I don't know where or how. So I guess we're just gonna have to guess? I wouldn't be surprised if there's something I've, I've missed that says how these are supposed to be pushed. So we're just gonna guess. A little bit. Like genuinely I have not looked this up, so if we can just randomly figure out what we need to do, that'd be funny. We can try opening it. It might even tell us a hint here. Look to the sky above to see the path. Well, I can't look any higher than this. Oh! It was a fucking red herring. It was a goddamn red herring. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't, I can't even look that high up to see. Uh, you know what game you got you fucking got me good. <laughs> Shit ass. Alright, that's almost certainly the boss there, so we're probably gonna wanna You know what? They're a little we're, they're a little in short supply, but we Yeah, they played me for a fucking fool. They're a little short supply, but we're gonna use one of these magic waters on Mobus just in the event we need more MP on him, because he does have mid heal, which is really good. Yeah, I got bam fucking bam fucking boozled. Let me tell you what. Yeah, this is definitely not. This is definitely a tr not. This is this has to be a trap, right? Like, yeah. Oh, jeez. Hello. You're terrifying. We're gonna want to kabuff almost definitely, and we're gonna probably want to do a accelerator just so everyone's faster than this thing soon. Buffing up status buffs are like the the name of the game in these games usually. Ooh, crackle! That's gonna hurt. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, didn't, didn't get a defense drop. We'll try again, because, I mean, there's literally no cost to trying it. Another good buff, and we'll do another accelerator just to make sure we are faster than this boss. Or at least slightly faster, because it might just be faster than us anyway, but. Oh no, I think we might, out, we might outspeed the boss. Yeah, we outspeed the boss now. We'll just do another kabuff just for the sake of it, but we're probably gonna start doing sap now. Well, maybe this thing's just immune to getting its defense dropped. Okay, we're probably gonna want to start doing some heals too. I have a feeling this thing might have a desperate attack. Just, just a, call it a hunch. So we'll, um, we'll have him start doing, uh, just heal for now. And we'll have her start doing s just spells, because I don't think sap's going to work. It doesn't seem like it's going to work. 
Ooh, we could do bounce on her. So wish if he does another crackle, maybe we can reflect some damage back. Oh, yep. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I motherfucking knew it. Alright, well. You keep attacking, you keep attacking. Um, I guess you just do mid heal on Mavis, and we'll have you do magic barrier on everyone else. So that should help lower damage from Crackle. Okay. Well, Mavis can survive a desperate attack if it happens. Let's make sure Jessica can as well. I mean, granted, 9 HP just might not be enough in general, but if that's the case, then whatever. Let's just do Accelerator again just to make sure our bonuses are topped off, because... Oh, well, I kind of forgot about... <laughs> Bounce. <laughs> Bounce affects all spells, even the ones you want to use on your allies. So I'll have to have her use Catechus on herself if she survives. Okay, yeah, I'll just have her use Catechus. Not a big deal. I'll have him heal himself just to make sure that we're not going to lose him. Because I don't think Catechus is considered a spell, so it should work on Jessica just fine. Yep. It's actually really good. She can keep her, her health up pretty high on her own terms if she uses Bounce to protect herself from Crackle. Or like... Oh, Fuddle! Even better. Well, that might... Oh, it's only a single target. I, I think D Fuddle or whatever is the multi-hit version of that. Well, I guess we'll just use Crackle, I guess? I don't know. Okay, I didn't really do much. But yeah, that puzzle played me for a fucking fool. Yep. Well, since she's not really doing much damage with our spells anyway... So we'll just have Angel attack and have her just Catechus freaking Yangus. Fortunately, she's just not doing much damage to this box. So we'll just have uh, her defense return to normal. We, so it looks like we need to do another buff spell. Or kabuff, rather. Yep, because everyone's defense is returning to normal. Crackle, they're going to take damage. She reflected it back to him. Which is... At least a little bit more damage. I mean, yeah, just an extra 20. Okay, which means Angelo needs to do Kabuff. And now I'm suspecting that Accelerator is going to run out soon, too, so we'll just recast it to re up our bonuses. Okay, bounce more off, whatever. No idea how much HP this thing even has. News? Well, that's not gonna be fun. Okay, thankfully it missed. Oh, I'd say the bow is a worthwhile upgrade. He's at least doing some moderately decent damage with it to this boss. Without us getting any sort of defense drops either, so. Uh, right after our barriers went away, of course. Okay, we're gonna just do Angelo, Heal, Jessica, Catechus. Because them, having them much lower than what HP they're at now is probably dangerous in case it decides to do a desperate attack. That would be a really shitty way to have a character die. It just never feels good. Okay, and then we'll just do K 
Hepaticus on Yangus here. Keep him nice and nice and thick. So that he can just keep attacking. Oh nice! Get dunked on, idiot. <laughs> uh well, we might as well just do this too. Okay, we won. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. 606 out. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't do 666 gold, because it's kind of like a demon box. Oh, hey, there's a Venus tier. Perfect. Well. So this is it, eh? The Venus tier. You beauty. You know, Gav, last time I tried to get this done, I'd done it for red. Now we're just rivals, I guess. But I actually used to have a bit of a thing for Red. Back in them days, she wasn't a scary old bird like she is now. And I was well green. So, I thought I'd get her the Venus tear to impress her like. But I ended up doing myself an injury, and I had to leave it. Never thought I'd end up getting it like this, though. I wonder how it would have all turned out. If I had got it back then, eh? Anyway, just me old wounds. Would you mind keeping this to yourself, Gov? Ain't the kind of thing you want going around. He's like, I'm a sentimental man. I don't need people to know that. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm glad we prepared as much as we did because that, that boss fight went pretty smooth. All things considered. And yes, that... <laughs> That puzzle there still got me really good, and I'm actually impressed and kind of glad that they did something like that. It threw me off. Kind of a little impressed, honestly. Kind of looks like a hipster. Although I, I think this was like, I think this game came out before the concept of hipsters. Her boobs jiggle. She attacks. Jesus Christ! Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? It's like the perfect time for your boobs to jiggle is when you're doing an attack. I mean, obviously. Pow, right in the kisser. Ooh, we actually do a lot, a lot more damage than I was expecting. Get fucked on. Ooh, hipster, what do you got? A piece of red... Okay. Alright, <laughs> whatever the hell that's for. No idea why that hipster just has a piece of red mold, but... Oh, I, no, I understand. It, it, it uses it to make its own cheese. That sounds like a hipster thing to do. Like, not to eat, of course, just to, like, stare at. Like, the hipster doesn't make the cheese to eat it. They make it just so they can look at it. Which, I mean, fair enough, I guess. You know, whatever. Whatever works, whatever works for you. Of course it gives 69 XP. Why wouldn't it? Why the fuck wouldn't it? Alright, how do we... Where's the bridge? Is it right here? I think it is. Can we just, like, walk it down? Well, that, they're a hipster. That's why they're, they're also one of the dancing enemies that, like, tries to do, like, sultry dance to, like, make you lose a turn. So they gotta show off the goods, you know? I don't care how old she looks. Like, goddamn. Red. There. I got it. The Venus tear. Now that is quality. Oh, yes. This is the real deal. Now, hand over the awesome cart like you promised. 
I never promised that. I said I'd think about it when you bought me the goods. And I've thought about it now, and I'm still not giving it back. You can keep the stone. Oh, it looks like we're gonna steal. Oi, that ain't what you promised. That's a pretty low trick, Red. I'm surprised at ya. Promises? You wanna talk about promises? If I remember rightly, you promised me ages ago you'd bring me that stone. What? That was years ago. You can't dredge up the past like that. Well, you're in no position to argue. I ain't saying it again. The horse stays with me. Yeah, right. I was out of line before, breaking me promise to you and all. I ain't surprised you're act off with me. But this ain't just about me now. I can't leave without the horse. It's for the guff. Look, do what you want with me. But I'm begging you, give the horse back. <laughs> oh, Yangus. Hey? He's... Oh. He's like, oh, this is different. All right, all right. Behave, would ya? Stop groveling about on the floor. Be a man. Well? I thought I'd have a bit of fun with you, but you've lost it. Have the horse. Do what you want with it. But I'll be keeping that Venus tear. That's what we agreed, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Thanks, Red, and sorry about everything. Oh, for crying out loud. Pull yourself together. We're done here, right? So go on then. Hop here. <laughs> Well, later, thief lady. Let's go get our our horse. There she is, and the cart too. Red told me to get the horse out for you before you got here. Looks like she knew you'd come out with the goods. Ah, she must rate you. Dear, what a terrible ordeal you must have been through. I'm so sorry. I won't leave you alone again. I'll never go to the pub like that again. <laughs> I promise. Oh, yeah. The reason she was left alone is because he went to go get a drink in town because it was the first town he's been able to go into without getting, like, yelled or spit at. Because he... I mean, look at him. Oh, blimey! <laughs> well, <Why? laughs> we're ready to leave whenever you are. What's our next destination? How about trying brains again? Maybe the old geezer will be around to give us some intelligence this time. Let's head back to Pickham. We've got to find out where Dolmagus is. Otherwise, we'd just be wandering around like headless chickens. Hmm. It would be no hardship to me if I never ever set foot in Pickham again. But I suppose we have no choice. Bye-bye. Did I have anything going in the alchemy pot all this time? Oh look, I was making more medicine. I was cook I was cooking some more meth. <laughs> Circles also proceed. Alright. It's, it's a real shame we didn't have the uh, Aquamy Pot for this whole, like, stream, basically, because, like, passively making these things lets us get extra money because it costs 16 to make each special, med uh, strong medicine, but they sell for 88, so you gain, like, a decent amount of money just passing while you're grinding other stuff, so. It's kind of annoying that we just couldn't do that. Anyway, back to Pickle. Alright. 
Hello, pupper. Arf. All right, so let's go find brains. Brains. Can't remember how the hell I even got up to where brains was. And that, that's a nice map, but that doesn't really help me. <laughs> Is it in here? It might be. If not, I might have should not have came in here anyway, so I probably should look around for, like, mini metals and all that. Ooh, a seed of life. Let's go ahead and use that, like, immediately. Maximum HP. Well, let's, ta let's take a wild guess who I'm using that on. <laughs> Easy choice. I heard a suspicious looking man outside talking about Baccarat. What are we gonna do? I f they found us. I'm sure he's come for the money. What? No idea what you're talking about, lady. Hmm. Oh, bookshelf. It's a personal diary. Dear diary. Today, I got one step closer to realizing my dream of becoming a bunny girl. I found the perfect bunny suit and a sexy pair of fishnet stockings, but I still can't find a set of bunny ears. A bunny without ears is like a quest without a dragon. <laughs> so I decided to take matters in my own hands. I bought a hairband today to make my own. All I need to do is find some items to combine with it to make my bunny ears. I am so ex close. My little bunny tail is twitching with excitement. Bunny ear, hairband, and probably the bunny tail, but I don't know where we can buy a bunny tail, so I don't want to use mine yet for something like that. Okay, new books there. There's a cell. A lot of treasure in there. Okay, let's see. What's anything this way? Jar. A bookcase and a dresser. No books in here. Holy water? Eh. Could be worse. This is like a master suite. Hmm. Oh. Dude's probably trying to take a shit. <laughs> Probably like, why are you in a bathroom? Did you know there are some alchemy recipes that involve three different ingredients? I used to dabble in alchemy myself when I was younger, you know. Those three recipes are really caused me problems. You can't, couldn't just get that much into a normal alchemy pot. Fortunately, I wasn't born dexterous, and that little stumbling block pretty much ended my affair with alchemy. Well, say, I, I did, I did uh, look at the alchemy list of stuff you can make, and I did notice there were some things that needed three ingredients, but I didn't quite, don't quite know how you get to that point. Alright, let's leave. That was also not how we find brains, so... Wonderful. Okay, I, I remember stumbling upon how to get up there, but I literally stumbled into it and didn't really make note of how I got up there, so... It's kind of annoying. Let's see. It might be through the this pub here. I mean, we can go in and check. We can go in here and check. Oh, that's uh, Dave's door, I think. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's right here. Alright. Well, that's neat. I remember down here is where the brains is, the guy the brains guy lives. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like a fucking nerd to me. You got some books for me, nerd? Let's 
guidebook entitled A Stroll and Pick Him. May describe Pickham as a wretched hive of scum and villainy, but that lopsided view misses the bigger picture. Think of Pickham as being like a double-edged sword. If you stay a little alert, it can be a wonderful place to visit. Nay, exciting, indeed. Pickhamites are people who live life on the edge. Take the casino. Sure, it's rigged. But what fun! And what about the fortune teller? Yes, yeah, she's wrong most of the time, but who cares? In a lovely inn. What better way to end your first day in Pickham than behind iron walls and barred windows? No visit to Pickham would be complete without a stroll down Beggar's Alley. A stench? Pickhamites prefer a bouquet. It's one of a kind. Yes, Pickham is the perfect place for people seeking life on the edge. I'm sure that's exactly why you would want to come here. A mystical spring. According to myth, a natural spring with the power to lift curses exists somewhere in the world. It's said that a single sip of its sacred waters is enough to cure any kind of curse. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to locate it yet. I pray to the goddess for guidance every night, but I fear the curse that has taken hold of my body may kill me before I find the mystical spring. Exciting. Okay, no books there. But let's go. Let's let's raid his bedroom or bathroom or whatever this is. Oh. Well, the alchemy pot's done. Let's smash up some of these barrels. And these vases. Ooh, a seed of wisdom. That's pretty good. And some gold coins. Increase uh, wisdom. Probably end up just using it on Jessica, because, well, I think that affects how much her magic does. So, I mean, only one, but whatever. All right, all right, brains. The fuck. Tell me your secrets. Hello, brains. Long time no see. Back at last, eh? Well, well. Look who it is. You came when I was out, did you, Yangers? I'm sorry I wasn't here. I'm like eighty percent sure that like the this guy is also in Mar voices someone in Morrowind. Like, there's like some dude like the very beginning of Morrowind. We go to like the um the excises and like traveling office or whatever to like get your pardon or whatever and he's like helps you do like set up your class this guy sounds very close to that but you're back again so if I'm not mistaken you must be in need of some information am I right always on the ball eh brains we're looking for this bloke who looks like a clown goes by the name of Dolmagus He's a slippery customer. Keeps getting away from us. Have you heard anything? Yes, I've heard about him. The criminal responsible for murdering the abbot of Maella Abbey, no less. My sources report seeing him walking over the surface of the sea toward the Western Continent. The Western Continent? That's a bit easy, isn't it? Can't you be more spiffic? Spiffy. Sorry, that's all I know. <clears throat> I wish I could tell you more. Well, if you don't know nothing more, Brains, there ain't nothing more to know. We'll have to go to the Western Continent ourselves. A fine idea. But aren't you forgetting something? How do you intend to cross the sea? Eh? Huh? Monster attacks at sea have been significantly worse recently. All crossings from here and from the Northern Continent have been cancelled. You could go if you had your own ship, but unless I'm misinformed, you don't. I'd say that will pose quite a problem. Uh, yeah. I don't fault with that. I kind of like Dormagus. Just... No, I can see that. <clears throat> well, perhaps I can help you out there with a little snippet of information I heard. Follow the cliffs along the coast to the west from Port Prospect, and you will come to a wide open wasteland. According to what I hear, there's an old abandoned ship there. I don't know why a ship should be in a place devoid of water. But anyway, people say it's a magic ship. Of course it's a magic ship. If you could get it up and running again, you'd be able to sail anywhere you wanted. You might want to try the path to the west of Port Prospect. It was blocked by a rock slide. But I hear that's been cleared up now. Well, I think we've already been to Port Prospect, so maybe we can just zoom there, but, like, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, yep, yeah, absolutely. 
Oh, let's go there and see if we figure it out. I like the enemies here are much trouble anyway. I think this is one of the earlier areas. So we can probably just like spam attack and get rid of them. Funny enough, not even that much worse money than the last place we were, we were at. So I guess in that case, these enemies are probably still worth fighting. Can we go this way or is, is it somewhere? Is it around the bend here? It might be around this little bend. We'll see if we can get there and if we can't then we'll just like zoom back to... We'll just zoom back to Port Prospect and do it next stream. Yeah, the money here is actually surprisingly around the same as it was in the last zone. The monster is a lot harder though. It's kind of weird that it's like that. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's use a holy water just to not get any encounters. Because at this point, the monsters are probably considered weaker or weak enough, or we probably just avoid all of them. Probably until we get to the wasteland place, at least. Oh, hey, look! New enemies. Rock bombs. I don't know if these ones can explode, but some of them do. In general. Uh, so let's treat these with the respect they probably deserve, because they're new enemies. Oh, more muddy hands. Hopefully they only call muddy hands, because sometimes these hand enemies can call some not fun enemies to help them, like big statue dudes. In some dragon quests, at least. how far we get. Oh, there's a little cabin here. We probably might be able to save here. That's what is up here. There are little cabins like this every so often that let us uh, save out and about. Which is really nice, actually. Yep, it's an inn and a church. So this is, this is where we're actually going to be in the stream off because that's perfect. Last time I found a place like this too, actually. Thanks. <laughs> they have one vase and I break it. Welcome to our inn. It's really cheap to stay here too. Uh oh. He's, wor he's working on the alchemy pot, which means eventually we're gonna be able to do the three ingredients thing. That's what he was doing last time when he made the alchemy pot in the first place. Like, every so often we'd see this little scene of him just work, just hammering away on it. Okay, so we're gonna save, and this will be the end of our stream for today. Ah, welcome. Bless you, my child. You may not believe it. Look at me now, but in my younger days, I was quite a looker. People used to call me the sexy sister. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything I can help you with today. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, you can save my game. Declare your sins and your achievements before a great malevolent goddess. Alright, damn. 
Calm down. Well, thanks for being here, Nakora. It's always wonderful to have you. You're a bright, shining star. And I appreciate everyone else as well, of course. Y'all are also great. I really appreciate y'all spending time with me. Because with my, the way I stream like this, it's like we're just hanging out, just playing video games in like my living room. It's pretty sweet. Except you can be like in bed or on the toilet or wherever you want to be. You don't have to like be on my couch. <laughs> it's really convenient. All right, so we're gonna make sure that it's saved before I close. Just... I'm pretty sure it did, but I just want to be sure because I don't want to lose all that progress. Should be like level 20 or something because I think we did level up to 20 before. Yeah, okay, it's good. 15 hours, not too bad. All right, so. There it goes. I was like, wait a second, why are you still up there, PS2? All right, so that is the stream for today. Appreciate y'all very much. And tomorrow we play, we be playing more Tales of Arise. I'm more hyped for that than I am for DQ8, and I am having a great time with DQ8. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get even more cool stuff done. I know we got to a new like zone in Arise, so hopefully we can partially get through that if not get through it entirely. But anyway. Yep, so tomorrow will be a rise, Wednesday will be more Hydroneer, and Saturday will be another big stream unless something comes up. But on that big stream, we'll probably be playing Pokemon Scarlet for the midday stream, because I ha I, duh. <laughs> like, Friday I'll be able to get the game, because I'll just get it on, like, my Switch or whatever, but otherwise, yeah, we'll um probably play that Saturday at some point. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end my stream and... Now, I'm going to see if I can find someone on Twitch to um, raid first, and we'll go from there. Let's see. Well, let's see. Final Fantasy VII, don't really care. FF14. Actually, the person that's playing FF14 right now is one of the people that raided me last week. Uh... Digidragon's playing Pathologic. We all, we we raid Digidragon plenty. G good old good old chap. They they visited earlier in the stream. I appreciate them for it. Uh, here, let's raid into Kyvy because they raided us last week. So let's return the favor. I feel that, I figure that's pretty nice. A nice thing to do at the very least. So let's go ahead and it's K I V Y. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna end my stream and we'll be raiding into Kyvy. Say hi when you get there, please. Later.